Welcome, welcome everyone to our brand new interim stream of Candlekeep Mysteries. Uh, my name is Buddy, and I'll be temporarily helming this adventure. As many of you know, our friendly neighborhood DM Ryan is on hiatus while he and his wife Tess get used to their new baby. So rather than sitting in Icewind Dale and freezing our fingers off, we thought it would be fun to start up something a little more bite-sized and contained. So let's see who we have here tonight. We have Lee playing Carolus, the yuan Ti pure blood warlock of the genie. We have Amy playing Riala, the Azamar life cleric. Rodney playing Cesar, the human Tempest cleric. Madeline playing Mina, the Aladrin Hexblade warlock. Nathan playing Bertram, the half-orc paladin monk, which is kind of a mouthful. And joining our group is Harry, who is playing Redis, the human artificer. Thank you for joining us, Harry. Glad to have you here. My pleasure. My Harry pleasure. waved, and I naturally Yay. waved back. <laughs> Harry waved, and I thought I'd wave back to him. Hey, Harry. <laughs> I just uh, have that on people. <laughs> this is this is showbiz, everybody. Uh, how's everybody doing? Excellent. Good? Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Cool. So I have been informed that we are not allowed to gather around the campfire like we do when I swim Dale because this is a library and campfires are strictly forbidden. So mm. I suppose we can gather around a card catalog, maybe, and see what lies in store. Uh, so for our viewers, uh, we're starting with everyone at level 10, just to showcase some higher level play. And because it lets me pull out some bigger monsters to have them deal with. <clears throat> to kill us with. Oh, no, no, no. Just to have you deal with. Mm. <laughs> also, there's, we have no idea what our characters can do <laughs> at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the well, I've, got, I've got like bonus actions and reactions that I'm never going to remember. <laughs> Correct. I was trying to study my um, like items and things that I got. Yeah. I was like, what do these do? I'm going to forget to have them. Yep. Uh, oh, that. God, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is going to be know fun, what? guys. It's going to be a learning <laughs> curve on this one. We will discover them together. Yeah. <laughs> Candlekeep. Indeed. Candlekeep is the largest repository of lore and writings in all the realms. It was once home of the great prophet Alando the Seer, and within its walls are written the prophecies of Alando. Its vaults, it is said, contain hidden knowledge enough to make any person with the ability to discover and absorb it all powerful beyond compare. The problem with doing that, of course, is the same as with secrets in any other location. One must know that a secret exists before its details can be sussed out. Many of the assets at Candlekeep remain enigmas for years. Sometimes things are discovered to be dangerous or to contain instructions to illicit or hidden treasures, or simply to need verification. Candlekeep does not officially employ staff to deal with these situations, but they do keep a few groups of adventurers on retainer so they can call upon them for these extracurricular activities. Your characters are all familiar with each other for at least the last few levels, but why doesn't everyone give us a quick introduction to your character so that everyone at home can, can know a little bit about them? Um, let's start with Lee. Me, I am playing a Carolus Vex. He is a Yuan-Ti pureblood warlock. He has been studying for a long, long time. He uh, is dressed in red robes, um, looks mostly human, and has some slight scales down the side of his neck and, and on his arms, and is generally seen as a nice fellow. So, yeah, a little bit about me. He's, not awesome. really, he's, a, he's an arsehole, really. But no, he's a nice fellow. <laughs> what a nice guy. Uh, he's a nice guy. Uh, Amy, let's hear a little bit about Riala. I'll be playing Riala. She is our ASMR, ASMR cleric, uh, life cleric. So responsible for keeping all these jokers alive, hopefully. <laughs> she, um, she has dark hair and very pale skin, almost a little bit like translucent. Um, a little bit of glow to her with her ASMR heritage. Uh, she wears chainmail and carries a shield, uh, like most clerics do. And she's, um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. 
What uh, what does your shield look like? Do you have your your holy symbol on that? Yeah, or? so I do. So there's actually it's like a sun and moon motif. So she doesn't her her faith is a little bit um, up in the air, so to speak. Um, so she has sun and then she has moon. So it's kind of like a duality thing she has going on. Well, I'm sure that won't cause you any problems when you're praying for your spells. Oh, uh, <laughs> she, she right. believes that her power comes from within. She's got hmm. this. Interesting. Uh, Rodney. I am playing uh, Caesar, who is our uh, human uh, Tempest cleric. Um, he has dark skin, uh, long black dreadlocks, wears a bandana, and has uh, light blue ocean tinted uh, armor. And he carries uh, a um, coraled uh, trident and has a shield on his back with uh, a symbol of the trident embedded, embedded on it. Oh, interesting. I, uh, the the coral trident, have you spent time on the sea or is that just... Uh... Uh, yes, uh, he used to be a pirate and then when a shipwreck gone wrong, he was brought back by his deity and has then followed path to become the cleric for this deity. Oh, nice. Uh, Harry, let's hear about your character. Okay, well, Redus is a very meek-looking, pale, sunken-faced and dark eyes, black shaggy hair, sort of looks almost skeletal at points, with very inquisitive, sharp eyes that always seem to be searching for something, but who knows what. Uh, he's, he wears... he's like a, like a like a My Chemical Romance kind of. Uh, oh yeah, he's all about movie. that, you know. So uh, he nobody really gets him, but you know that's fine because they just wouldn't anyway. Um, so he wears this beautiful blue leather overcoat that has like a black undershirt underneath, leather breeches, and uh, these big metal knee pads, which has tools attached to them. Almost looks like they're magnetized to them, so they're always within reach. But um, meeting Redis, like. Oh, I should mention also, he's got an ersatz eye. So like one of his eyes is nice and pale blue. The other looks like it's almost made of some hard stone that's got indentures that are sort of making the impression of an eye, but um, definitely some kind of magical item. But as I say, when you meet Redis, he's the not most imposing figure that you probably lay your eyes on. It's his shadow, Clunk the Fourth, which is his golem that he is constantly adding to restructuring, destroying, making Clunk the fifth, improving. And you know from adventuring with him that his goal in life is to have every village in the Sword Coast with their own Clunk so they can defend themselves against the threats that pillage villages. And his idea is he's going to perfect this golem until it's operational and easily producible. There's no way he will turn evil and use them to take over the Sword Coast. Oh, abs yeah, that's, <laughs> that sounds completely legit. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Uh, Nathan. Uh, so Bertram, he goes by Bert. Uh, he wears uh, robes that are typical for one of a, from a monastic order. Um, but then on his left hand, he wears a single gauntlet with an eye emblazoned on the back, which is the symbol of Helm because he is from the, the Order of Helm. Uh, and they are a group of warrior monks that just seek to to protect and to um, just look out for the downtrodden, likely. Um, as part of his oaths, he has uh, sworn a vow of non-lethality. And the, the symbol of that is his signature like wooden sword that he always keeps with him. He's, he's hesitant to use it, but when he does have to, it's it's very quick and decisive. Interesting. I, I, I'll be looking forward to see if that causes any trouble with your other level 10 powerhouses. We'll um, find out. We'll find out. Uh, and lastly, but certainly not leastly, we have Madeline. Tell us about your character. Well, uh... <laughs> My character's name is Mina. She is a hexblade uh, warlock. Um, she's uh, kind of quiet and reserved, except for when it comes to a battle. Um, and she's 
mostly dressed in kind of travel gear, um, you know, with kind of like a green cloak, kind of overcoat, a nice, lovely sword, and uh, rapier, if you will, and uh, some nice leather armor. And uh, and yeah, she likes to keep it a little a little mysterious, so we'll, we'll kind of see her personality as we go. And is she's an, an Aladrin elf, is that correct? Yes. And then do you, what, what season do you normally wear on her? She will be fall. She's, Excellent. She's a fall maiden. Excellent. I, I, I dig it. Uh, all right. Party O mine. You, um, you all begin. Roll for initiative. Kidding, kidding. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you hate me? God, it was so attack. down though. But now? Oh, okay. It was let's, so let's, ready. Let's do it. No, no. You uh you all you all you all begin this journey. Uh you're in a, a private uh tavern room. Um it's it's morning time, you're having breakfast and uh and just kind of chatting, uh you know, just had having just woken up and starting to eat. And so, if you uh, would like to have a little a little bit of chat, we can do that. Just kind of a getting to remember you thing. Okay, I'm going to immediately offer. I'll say, Bertram. I'll say, Bertram, darling, would you care for a cup of tea? Why, yes, darling, that would be mm. fine. As uh, are you going to make it, or are you going to let that behemoth behind you make it? The fact you asked the question, I think you already know the answer. Clunk. I'm afraid I do. Oh, Lord. And I want Clunk already has a teapot. Uh, you'll have to bear with me, Bertram. I'm trying to practice the more delicate actions. Punching people to death comes naturally, but pouring a cup of tea, Bertram, please. And I'll try and usher Bertram to do the delicate action of pouring a tea without spilling any. Oh, sorry, uh, Clunk to Bertram is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Have a uh, have have Clunk roll a, a dexterity check, okay. and I'm so, I'm so glad that you used a teapot rather than having the, the spout. <laughs> yes, or the spouts be somewhere else. Right. Okay. Right. That kind of stream. I see. It's that kind of stream, folks. It's that kind of stream. We put we put that's the buddy we, we put, all know and We love. put Buddy in the driver's seat. <laughs> we deserve this. <laughs> uh, I mean, you you had to know. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're rolling the first one of the campaign. It's two, so <laughs> you know He's he, everywhere. Well, you know he, he he rather than have it by the handle, he has it kind of by the back of the pot in a in a oh. very kind of clunky way. And and he you know he starts starts really well, but but Bertram, you unfortunately end up wearing much of it on your sleeve. He gets like just a couple drops in the cup, and I just. Yeah, I mean the tea. The tea. It, it is. It is quite good. The tea is tasty. It's just the, the pouring. Yeah, the one sip I got, was excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ritas. Thank you. Thank Real you. good. Oh, back to the drawing board, I suppose. <sighs> I need a gentler hand, Ritas. You can't just have them go around crushing things. It's supposed to be delicate. Yes. Thank you. I'm trying to work on it, but. Um... Unfortunately, crushing things comes naturally to a golem. I understand. There is a, a soft knock on the door, and then the, the door opens, and uh, the, you you see one of the the, the acolytes that, that you see all about Candle Keep that pretty much do all of the actual work, the, the manual labor that's not reading books. And uh, he just sticks his head in. Uh, pardon me, everyone. Uh, a, a message from Master Sage Tomris. Uh, she has a job for you, so uh, when whenever you finish, uh, if you could just uh, go see her. Thank you. Um, good, goodbye. So obviously he's a little uncomfortable around your types, the the adventurer types. He's he's used to scholars and gentile people. Uh, who was that? Who was that, uh, lad? Uh, Master Sage Thomas. Master Sage Thomas. And and you all know her. She is she's kind of your your handler. That uh, she she's the one that that gives you the different jobs or, or errands to work on. So you're you're quite familiar with her. Tell her we're having tea. Uh, Carol uh, is uh, sitting uh, there uh, with a book and waiting for yes, some sir. tea. 
Okay, yeah, yes, sir. I, I, I will. And he, he closes the door. You're going to send uh, Clunk over? Clunk, please. Carolus has lost his tea. Do him a favor and pour some gently. It's a six. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to catch the tea as like, I'm moving the cup round to sort of like? Sure, sure. Just just because I uh, I think you know what's coming. I'm sure this is not the only morning. There's been a two and a six with uh, with clunk. Uh, we'll, we'll say that you can manage to keep it off of yourself and get nearly half a cup of tea. Oh, it doesn't even look. D up. Just, thank you. I'm I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Um, I thought I'd manufactured a proper arm pouring technique, but back to the drawing board once again does clunk have a, a, a voice at all or is he is he mute as a, yeah, as a he's, uh, he's mute and he's as his name suggests just moves with completely preternatural robotic movements like nothing you could ascribe to any biological thing literally <laughs> like just tsh, 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 sort of stuff well I, I must say i love the idea that he moves that way and then you're trying to perfect this delicate that's the pouring point. action. That's the <laughs> <point>. <laughs> uh, any any other tea adventures, or we uh, want to finish breakfast and move Just forward? Sitting there, feet up, reading a book and sipping a, sipping some tea while we finish breakfast. We are no, my own. Nina, could I tempt you? <laughs> any chance? Uh, how about I get my own tea? Thank you. Probably safer. Go ahead. No. Pour me some. Yes. Oh, you were talking to her, not to Clunk. Yes. To, no. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> now, Carolus, how long do you expect to keep the the sage master sage master master sage waiting? You know how they get when we when we keep them waiting. Oh, it depends how many pictures are in this book. I forgot you only care about the ones with pictures, None. yes. Can I slap the book shut? <laughs> uh, okay, you uh, you open the door and, and leave your your little private tavern room. It, it, it's, it's kind of interesting. It, it's, it is a room all to yourself. It doesn't seem to fit the decor of the rest of the tap room. Um, you suspect maybe it is a, a magical... It's like a like a TARDIS almost, uh, but a, a magical enhancement to the tap room, and and you see other doors similar to that. So you you, you guess that there are several, and this is just one that has been provided for you um, by the Master Sage. And um, as you step out the door, sitting sitting in a chair, uh, very familiar to you all, is a a, a large ogre uh, sitting dressed in very normal clothes, not kind of torn rags like many ogres. Uh, sitting in a chair reading a book. He wears a, a gold uh, circlet headband. Uh, and you recognize him as Little One. And he greets you as you come out. Oh, oh where, 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 where are you off to today? What, what adventures are you getting into? We have to see Tomris to find out. How's, how's this one, Little One? How's the book? Oh, oh, it's, 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 it's good. You, uh, you, you, you can, you can borrow it if you like. I'd very much like that. Uh, and, and, and he will just close it and hand it to you. Oh, no. I mean, were you finished? Well, well, no, but, but you said you would like to borrow it. No, that's appreciate it, little one, but you take your time. You finish. I'll get it from you when you're done. Oh, Maybe. oh, th th thank you. Uh, thank you. No problem. Maybe wait in a few years, but... Nonetheless. Mm. I think that's he, the only book I've ever seen him reading. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks at all of you, and he 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 feels like you're taking the piss out of him a little bit. He he doesn't oh. think that you're serious. The, uh, the the all of you would know that little one is a is the a, a fixture here. He he's been here for years, and the the circlet he wears upon his head is a headband of intellect. So he is quite possibly the smartest ogre that there has ever been. And 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 he he routinely sits just off in a corner or or in at a, at a table reading a book. Is that the one with the pictures? 
Uh, uh, no, no, this, this is the Storm King's Thunder. Would, would, would you like to read it? It doesn't have pictures. Thank you anyway. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Careless. There's no need to say sorry. You didn't do nothing wrong. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I said sorry, Careless. <laughs> but he's, 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 he has intellect, but I don't know what his wisdom is. It's not not too high. So <laughs> Carry on, wise. little one. We won't bother you and keep you from your book any longer. Oh, that, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. And so you... Uh, there, there are just, just a handful of people in here in the morning, but you make your way outside into... Uh, apologies, this this map comes with the module and it is giant. Um, it, yeah, it's like, you know, 15, 20 seconds to render. Um, but uh, you step out into the, the, the very familiar to you now, Candle Keep. And you are here at the hearth. Okay. Uh, you know that the, the hearth is the 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 tavern the the tap room uh, a place of chatting and carousing um the place that you you visit often and and as i said you have a sorry i'm just looking for my one document there uh you have a a private room there that's provided to you um the house of rest next door is the 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 bunkhouse kind of the inn of candle keep uh, where the folks who come to to learn and to read um, often stay there, and the, it doesn't seem to be all that big. But you've, no matter how many people are here, you've never seen them turn anyone away. So, again, some uh, some other form of, of extra dimensional magics uh, must be employed there. Yeah. The um, you see the granary next door. There's the the temple of Agma which is the, the god of knowledge. And so the both uh, Cesar and Riala have, have spent some time in there, even though it's not your specific patron deity. You, uh, you understand the importance of it, and, and temples all understand the importance of sharing and, and the need for, for prayer. The, uh, there's the a smithy and the stables, which folks ride their, obviously, horses in and, and can get them shod and taken care of there. The, the bath and steam house, which uh, you've never really been there. It's, it, it's not that it's seedy. It's, it's very kind of erudite and, and, and hoity toity in there. And it's just kind of not a place where you guys are super comfortable being. Uh, to the north, there are the pillars of the of pedagogy where the, these towers all have silence cast all over them and so researchers researchers can come and request books be brought to their their room there and they can just read in all the blissful silence that that they could ever imagine and hope for uh there is a small uh the erudite outfitters and clothiers who they obviously make clothes and keep all of the the acolytes and the the sages uh keep them in robes and keep their robes repaired uh, then just to the the west of the the hearth is the house of the binder, and you know that's where you can buy uh, copies of many of the books that are here in Candlekeep. Not everything can be can be copied uh, due to it being dangerous or or, or, or secret knowledge, but um, but if you're looking for spell books or just other other texts or tomes uh, that can be negotiated for for getting copies made there. Um, and you all will be headed toward the Emerald Door, because that is what what guards the way into the inner ward where the actual library exists. Every step that we take, Clunk is like it's ten behind, but it's got like kind of an it follows vibe to him. So no matter how far I get to from him, he'll eventually catch up. I'm hoping okay. that's how he works anyway, just so he's not always with the party, just saying. Okay. The, um, there are, 
a number of people kind of milling around. As you get closer to the Emerald Door, the there are more and more uh, the folks there. Mostly they seem to be just visitors here, kind of taking the sights in. Uh, but as you get to the Emerald Door, uh, there are a, a number of, of people there who are, who are trying to talk their way in to get into the, the inner ward. And on duty is a very athletic looking half elf mage who just, he just isn't having it. He's just, no, nope, sorry. Uh, can I see your letter? Uh, no. <laughs> no, sorry. And he's turning people away, but you never maybe seen a mage as built as he is. He he could easily have been a paladin in a different life. Uh, and he sees the. Do we know his name? You you do. This is Karin. K a r r i n n. Uh, and he he sees you. Uh, ah yes. And he immediately immediately waves you over. We'll, uh, we'll jog over. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, you uh, you get there, and he 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 makes some of the uh, the visitors part part way there to 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 let you through, and and even holds them aside long enough for for Clunk to uh, to to catch up, and just he kind of shakes his head and smiles. That's how how are we this morning? Fine, oh, thank you. Well enough. Well. I, Better than the, uh, the the alternative, I guess. I had it's... half a cup of tea. I am very well. Ooh, it's a half a cup of tea morning. Yeah, more than I had, thanks to uh, <laughs> that hulking monstrosity behind us. Uh, is there is there a problem with the gate? The line seems a bit longer today than usual. Oh no, no, it's, uh, you know how it is. Uh, everyone thinks that they can just come here and just browse around, and they just they have to be told that without explicit permission you you cannot enter the inner ward the the inner sanctum and uh and you know it just it's a process some days it's heavier than others uh, and i i know that that i know all of you but uh we still have to do the we still have to do the thing uh every single time and and he will he will show his hand out like this and all of you on on your hand kind of right here between your thumb and forefinger have a little tattoo. Uh, show it to everyone. And that should have popped up for everyone. Mm -hmm. I see a book. Uh, this is the uh, the, the, the gold uh, the gilding on this book is is the, what the shape of your tattoo is. And this is a, basically it's a, it's a pass that allows you through uh, the Emerald door that allows you in. So you don't, you don't have to have the stamp sealed letter from the um, the the master of Candlekeep, that this is this allows you in and out, uh, but you you all present them and and you know he does a, a small incantation over them and everything everything looks fine. Uh, but please please go through and the gates the emerald door magically separates enough just enough for you all get in and as you walk through you hear a number of folks oh boy well, I've I've got that tattoo as well and you see them trying to. Trying to draw on their hands something that looks similar to uh, to what you had on, but you, you imagine. Get your that's paperwork fine. and come back here when you get right now. Get out of here. Go get get get. <laughs> I'll just clap Corinne on the shoulder as we walk by and say, "Don't be too hard on him." Uh, you on know, him. it's. I would wish I had had a half a cup of tea. Maybe I'd have been in a better mood. Do you want one? <laughs> oh, please! Get uh, on. You don't. You uh, don't. You don't want it. You don't want these. I'm Master on the clock. Sage is, yeah, Master Sage is waiting for us. I'm afraid. Very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the clock. Uh, and and he laughs and chuckles, and you guys scoot in, and the door shuts behind you. And again, you hear a number of of the seekers outside just, oh, we just, well, my grandfather has the note, and he'll be along shortly. So can I just go in and, and look at... So... What kind of tea do you think he drinks that he can't have some while he's working? <laughs> I think we both know the answer to that question. <laughs> the wet kind. <laughs> uh, special mommy and daddy tea. 
What? What? How? How? So, what, so how, the tea can't he have? The wet kind? Does that mean he can't have any? What's the dry kind in? Well, he just chews on tea leaves. <laughs> it works. It means it's nothing, Cesar. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Sometimes my jokes are a little bit lost on you. I, I apologize. Yeah, don't no, mm -hmm. take that tone with me. I'm going to leave you on the ground dead. <laughs> and yes, I yes. won't revive you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I I thought it was a lovely joke, Careless. <sighs> yeah. I, you I guys just... had any idea how much you cost me in diamonds? I paid you back for that one. <laughs> No I'm dying. keeping track, you know. Our presence, though, surely. I you enjoy our company too much. So. And I wasn't dead, I was sleeping. Right. That well, one's on you, Next time Riala. I let you mm -hmm. sleep, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was technically unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> um, DM, how often are we summoned to Tomris? Is it regularly, or, like, is it serious? Yeah. It's, uh, it, it is... Are we going steady? <laughs> Well, it, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's semi regular. I mean, you you you're you're on retainer here. They they provide you with um with with housing at the the house of rest. They provide you with your kind of private room at the the hearth. And um, you know, sometimes it, it's something as simple as oh, we we know that someone is bringing something very valuable. You know, some very valuable tomes here. Can you go and? Just escort them so that you know no bandits accost them. So sometimes it's it's very very simple work like that. You know sometimes uh, as I had said that you know, they'll find dangerous items that, that need to be taken out of the keep and and disposed of safely. Um, as, as I would say that that you you know maybe a couple of times a week uh when you it, for small jobs when you're in town but you know, obviously like like all jobs sometimes you might be called in and you may be gone for 3 weeks dealing with with that problem so they um they have you on retainer and and basically every time they ask you to do a job there's there's an agreed upon payment schedule uh in addition to the room and board that they provide you well i'll just mention it to the party then i'll just say um He'll just sort of sweep his black hair aside and say, I hope this isn't another tome escort job. I'm dying to test out Clunk's power enforced rend attack. But hopefully some action this time. As long as it's better than making tea. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, sorry. The tea is fantastic. Well, I made the tea, Kyrillus. <laughs> well, not you. the factor. It's the pouring, Kyrillus. Yes, that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have Clunk open his chest cavity and put the teapot inside. Just to put it to rest. Has he been carrying the teapot this whole time? Yeah, he's got it. I <laughs> love the image of him just like stomping behind us with yeah. tea, like sloshing out occasionally. Yeah. He's kind of like the butler from Tomb Raider 2. So he's <laughs> kind of Find solid. a freezer. We can stick him in there. Yeah. He's got the same uh, walking pattern as well. So. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, all right. So the, you you guys chat and banter as you uh, as you make your way kind of north to where this area with the the purple uh, roofs are, uh, and that's you know that that is where uh, Master Sage Thomas's office is. And uh, so you make your way there, and uh, and and knock on the door, and you hear, enter. Open the door and go in. Oh, okay, yeah. Follow in. Follow. Let's go. Alrighty. <laughs> After you clunk. <laughs> you uh, there, there's like two or three steps up, and you you don't have to like help him, but he's you're. Maybe like he's teetering a little. It's like, all right, if you fall, I'll catch you a little. Got my shield ready. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is why not... Tomris told you to leave him outside. Where I go, Clunk goes. That's the point. I no, we got I... this. We just put the position behind him and give him a good shove right up. I don't know why you all <laughs> insist on antagon antagonizing Master Sage Tomris. One, because it's fun. <laughs> and that's it. It is fun. Do we need any other reason? I mean, yeah, that's, that, you're basically right on that. <laughs> uh, all right, so you uh, 
you you enter her office and she is a she is a gold dragonborn and she's sitting sitting behind her desk uh, doing a little bit of writing and in front of her desk there's a small table uh, something is lying on the table but it's covered in a cloth this is she always likes to put a little bit of theater into uh, into what's going to happen so this this is not new and I, I will let you all decide uh, on your own if you are. If you're happy about like, ooh, what's under the cloth, or if you're like, just Jesus, just we don't need the cloth. It's it's completely up to you, but that's how she that's kind of how she rolls with you guys. I'm all uh, about the drama, so <laughs> Yes, yes, come in, come in. Uh she she sees uh Bertram's sleeve is a little bit damp. Uh still still no success with the tea pouring. Still working out the kinks, yeah. Let's just shelf the tea pouring issue for the time being, everyone. I'm already feeling a bit delicate about it, so I will I'm work sure on the tea. Get it pouring. right on clunk five. It'll be fine. Just please, please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Why is it sit from his eye? Is she? She? She kind of waits for you to all, all to, to finish with your banter about clunk and just. Smiles, but shakes her head. Ah, uh, so we uh, we have something that we kind of don't really know what's inside it, which is is unique for a, a library to have a book that that we don't know what's written in it. Mm. We um, this is this is something that that we were given a number of years ago, and it the book has been locked. And so it was. It was placed in in the archives and in one place. And every every couple of years, if someone thinks, "Ah, oh, this should really be in this section," and so it has moved across the library for several dozen years. And we uh, we we finally have, have have caught up to it and 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 pulled it out of circulation. And, and we're going to see if we can figure out together what uh, what exactly it is. And she reaches down again very unnecessarily theatrically and she pulls the cloth back <laughs> and on the table is a a large book it is uh on the front it says Zikrin's Zephyrian tome uh the the white area is is actually white marble and so the 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 letters and stuff are carved into it it's bound with with blue leather, uh, and there is a lock um, keeping the book shut. Does the name ring a bell? Zif, zik, zikin. Zikrin. One like the last Zikrin. book in the catalog. Um, <laughs> you can roll me a history check if you like. With pleasure. That's can I take a shot of that? Is, at will is, is is that like with advantage? With uh, pleasure. No, oh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, sure. I, I, anyone, anyone who is proficient in history, um, you know, I, I will actually say uh, history or arcana. Not a twenty-five. Nope. Actually. Ooh, goodness. Um, uh, history yes, or arcana. It, yes, history <laughs> or arcana. Okay. Ah, oh, sad panda. You're yeah, your your sad panda ten does not beat his twenty five. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you the name actually definitely rings a bell to you. He um, Zikrin is is someone who you know studied extra planar magic extensively, um, and and was always trying to 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 reach out to to different planes and and create various machines. In, in some ways, much like yourself as an artificer, he was. He was always trying to make make machines and, and gizmos and and to combine that with planar planar magic and so <clears throat> the the fact that it was Zikrin's tome that they you know initially thought oh well this this will be with with you know planar magic and oh well no this is more this is extra planar travel and oh this is about magic fortresses and it, that's why it has moved around so much is because of the name recognition of Zikrin. Okay. Well, he'll put on like an extendable monocle 
which is his um, goggles of minute seeing magic mm. item. And I'll okay. just lean in and just sort of very carefully with a whirring sort of um, servo sort of sound, just sort of study it and say, ah, Zikrin Zephyrian's tome. Yes, I've seen it in the library myself. It's something to do with planar travel, is that right? Despite the garish cover, it's actually probably holding some pretty deep secrets. Uh, Master Sage Tamras just kind of shrugs and says, well, that's that's the real question. That's that's what everyone has assumed, but with with a lock that, that no one can seem to open, it, uh, it's a bit of mystery. It, it could just be tea recipes. It it, it could what? just be uh <laughs> hey, uh, it, it, it it could just be just be random gibberish hmm. well can you open it if we could open it I would not have required the services of you all there's no I mean obviously it's it's, it's locked and I mean if you had if you had a key I'm sure I'm sure it would be open by now there's no yes we've 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 had rogues try to pick the lock we've had different uh wizards and sorcerers try to to magically unlock it uh all all to no avail so we're hoping the... that, that that maybe you can find a, a clue on it that that will something we have missed maybe the key is hidden inside the book hmm yeah useless key inside a locked book i well I have that this would defeat random the point, key yeah. I've been carrying around forever. I haven't found anything it works on. I could try it. Sounds like a marvelous idea. That would be She's, she seems, incredibly she seems, convenient. She seems very intrigued. That would be serendipitous if, if this were the key, please. I mean, I feel like that's probably too easy, but I'll try it. I'll, uh, I'll take out my mystery key. <laughs> so what, what's a mystery key? <laughs> question mark is worked into the head of this key. The key has a 5% chance of unlocking any lock <laughs> into which it is inserted. Once it unlocks something, the key disappears. All right. <laughs> it's one Let's... of my random <laughs> items. <laughs> things well, that uh, worked out. Things might be taking a, a turn <laughs> for the good for you guys. We are just going to shortcut this entire <laughs> campaign. <laughs> oh, See you all next week. <laughs> I sure hope all my sweat isn't showing up on the stream. Uh, all right, please, uh, please roll a percentile, and we'll say that if you make um, ninety-five percent or above, that it will work. Okay. Can I give her guidance on this? Uh, no, since it's a magical uh, item, I would say that it, you can't really guide. It's just the a item. chance of success. Or okay. Not. One in twenty. That's a twenty-three. So, oh. I don't think this is the right no, key so for the, this the, lock. The key goes in and it and it and it turns a little bit and then it just it kind of stops and it, it's you feel like it it almost should mm -hmm. work but but something is kind of keeping it and so you withdraw the key and mm -hmm. put it back in your pack. It's got to open something at some point. Most keys do, <laughs> but um, it'd be a long wait. I'm afraid. Though now you want me, you've got me wanting to make a business where I just make keys that don't unlock anything and, and drop them <laughs> random places. <laughs> Scavenger hunt. Did All right, did, well, that was my idea. My next idea is to let Clunk just hit it really hard. Would that hurt the book? I Wondering. don't think so, uh, but I don't have any other good or even bad ideas so i, I guess we can let <laughs> clunk try it he's not going to hit the book he's going to grab the book by the covers and try and pull it open to oh try my God. <laughs> okay clunk executes the command wrench and um he'll sort of stomp over foot by foot. I can't imagine how much disturbance this causes to candle keepers having this giant golem around. Okay. <laughs> um, it will grab it by these huge, like the, he wears gauntlets, it's a suit of armor. So um, sinks them onto each cover of the book and he just tries to pull it aside, sort of gimly attacking the one ring style in terms of um, 
Okay. Practicality. Am I rolling? A make a, a, a make a strength check. Um, right. Yeah, strength check. Okay. Here we go. This hurts the book lover in me. Like, can watch we, it. Can we give him guidance <laughs> on this? Yeah. You know what? I I will. You guys are, are have had enough tea <laughs> spilled on you that we'll, we'll say. Come on, Clug. You've got to have a win in you. Um, what's guidance? One d four. Yeah, one d four. I got um. Uh, ten plus two instrument, twelve, sixteen. Uh, again, the 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 hasp seems to 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 begin to bend just a little bit, and then as soon as he kind of lets off, it it seems to kind of go right back into Say, into steam its place. Ejects from his joints. <laughs> so he's just <laughs> trying and trying. Stop, clunk! You're going to hurt yourself. And um, I haven't put the book down. And again, clunk five than I thought. Tamris, uh, is, you know, she's she's visibly a little bit kind of down. It's like, ah, well, it's uh, it's 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 no worse than anything that that, that we have tried. Uh, other what have you tried? So we don't, you know, reinvent the wheel. Uh, well, some of that is top secret. So you brought us here to open this thing, but you won't tell us what you've tried already. We're gonna give you a list of things we we gonna try. You tell us yes or no. We you hit it. Ha- hammers, you poke it. hammers, chisels, acid. You uh, tried the magic. rogues. All, all the best rogues that we could find. Wizards. Uh, you tried wizards. Did tried you try? Wizards. Did you try asking very nicely? Me was gonna ask if you're gonna ask it. We could no, always. We, as librarians, we're not really in the habit of asking the books to comply, and so maybe that's an oversight on our part. It wouldn't hurt. Well, try and go and well, lightness go. goes a long way. Maybe try knocking on it. It's a way to open a locked door, after all. Right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's not looking at us like we're crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. She, she, she's, 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 she is. She's actually intrigued. Like, damn, why didn't we think about just? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, God. I. I am. Uh, I'm gonna send a private chat to one of I'm you. Not keeps elite team. <laughs> one of their elite teams. Ah, fair enough. He tried turning it off and on again. <laughs> hmm. What could we do? What could we? Thomas, do? Ha- did did Zikram write anything else? Uh, I'm sure that he has, but nothing nothing that, that we have marked here as, as a treatise from him. It, anything that he wrote that is here must be under a different name. And how long ago did he write his works? Uh, we have had this here for several dozen years. And you just now decided to open it? Uh, no, it, it has been... Uh, we tried to open it, we couldn't. Uh, it must be extra planar, and then... Mm-hmm. Down the line, oh, this can't open it. Oh, this is really more this. So much more of a pass the buck kind of mm. library. Mina, thing. you're from, if you'll excuse my bluntless, another plane. Yes. Why don't you try it? Mean, maybe it's locked to our inferior material plane. I don't think I have anything that would open it. Maybe you'll touch your own. I can try. I'll go and pick up the book and and place my hand on the lock Mm -hmm. and concentrate a little. (laughs) What what do you think? What what do you think when you concentrate? I'm kind of just feeling out the vibe of the book, like if it has any like weird auras or if it has any like weird energies coming from it. And uh, just seeing if, if our vibes are the same and if it'll actually like open if the lock will just open it definitely has a a bit of a vibe but but nothing that you think oh this is a this is evil or this is good or this is this or that it just it it seems like it it holds something um it just seems kind of unique to you hmm well well if that fails i have a crowbar Yes. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> hmm. um, do you want me to try using my crowbar? 
uh, uh, yes, we we have tried small, teeny tiny ones, but never never an an adventurer's crowbar. So please, clearly, what do I what do I have to roll for that? Um, we'll let you do a, a strength check on that as well. Clearly, this is an intelligent guidance. <laughs> it's contacted me telepathically. Um, oh, that's never good. Ta Ta Tamaris re slow pulls over to you. What, 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 what do you mean? It's asking for my help. So we're not going to hit it with a crowbar. Book wants your help. Well, so so me, Mina has already has already put the crowbar on it uh, for for a sixteen. And, and like, again, much, it's crying much... out in pain. Huh? <laughs> huh? No, 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 crying in pain. But but much like when huh? when Clunk um, w w was trying to to strength open it, it you f you feel it move like just a little bit, and then when you when you pull the pull off on the pressure, it seems to just kind of go back to where it had been. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look. And I just hand the book over. Pick it up and just check it around. And in my head. So as soon as you touch the book, just loud audible, click, and the lock pops open on the front. See? And everyone goes. Oh, Easy. Oh, that really wasn't so bad at all. Yeah, what plane just... are you from, Carlos? From this plane, obviously. Oh, right. Well, I suppose Ooh. open it, and he'll step back. Let's. Behind I'll open it before he gets a chance to step back. <laughs> Might try to step behind Clunk. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's... I hope you guys rolled for some healing potions. No, I'm kidding. We, we got two clerics. You think any of these guys got healing potions? <laughs> we have two clerics. I didn't bother Ted, spending any I'm of my money on healing, healing potions. No. <laughs> um, so uh, as as uh, as Careless opens the book, there are small, wispy, little tendrils of smoke that come out of the front that, that come off the pages of the book, and they form into the shape of a head. Who speaks? <clears throat> oh, thank you. So long I have been locked with the cover of that book closed. It's nice to see faces of any kind again. Uh, hi. You make it easy yes. to open. I mean, it didn't seem that bad. Well, for me, well, I, actually, it's me being me, but... I, 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 I did not put myself in this predicament or or set the difficulty for opening. Well, that was... It, put was it back. That was Zikram. Are you... So you're not Zikram? No. My name is Gazre Azam, and I am a genie. I was. Is it safe to speak here? As he kind of looks around, trying to take in his surroundings. Forget well. that. I would like my three wishes. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, being trapped in this book, I, I have no access to any of my powers. I was it's summoned. I, like... I don't know how long ago, uh, by Zikrin. Who, uh, who was trying to to get me to teach him to make elemental devices? He's trying to build some sort of floating castle fortress that could transcend planes. Uh, for a time, I I, I I served him, telling him telling him what I knew, um, hoping that eventually he would be done with me and and release me from this book. Ah, uh, but alas, he he did not. He he took, he took, he took, and uh, and and would never would never release me. So, I changed tactics and I decided to become less than helpful. 
that uh, he kind of stops and and looks down. That only made things worse. <clears throat> Zikrin cast an extremely complicated spell to to keep me bound in this book. Uh, from from what I know or understand of it, the only way to to free me is for Zikrin to end the enchantment willingly or for him to expire. Mm. I, 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 at the moment, have nothing to offer you other than my, my gratitude, but, but please aid me in this task of, of being free from this book. How long have you been in there? I, 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 I do not, I, I cannot even conceive of how long it has been. Uh, decades, potentially. Well, I mean, how, how old is Zikrin? I mean, will he just die on his own? Uh, he is a water genasi. I, I, I know not of their species. Uh, if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to roll, maybe in nature. Um, as soon as I, as soon as I myself learn how long they live. Um, yes. <laughs> mm, let's see. Nope, don't. Not proficient in nature either. <laughs> I'm not proficient in nature. I want to roll one just because I want to roll a dice. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I rolled a two. Do it. I'm not proficient. <laughs> I'm not proficient, but I got a fourteen. Got a twenty-three. I've got a super bloody smart, you know. So. <laughs> I know, Radius. You don't have to show off. <laughs> yeah, that was that was um, in character. Put your hand up. For those watching, we have a giveaway going by our sponsor, Crack and Dice exclamation mark giveaway hey. to enter. Thank you for the cover on that. Uh, you know, I honestly, I apologize. I, I do not know how long they live. I, my guess would be like elves. It's it can be hundreds of years, um, and so it would not be not be out of the ordinary. You would think that uh, that he would still be Z Z here now. You tell us. <laughs> yeah, Z, how long do you want? Beyond wanted... says one hundred and twenty years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was gonna check. Yeah, okay. I second that. <laughs> <laughs> then uh then yeah he he is probably probably aged but uh by the, at this point but eventually he would probably die on his own yes so i mean you could just say go screw and reshelve this book and let it sort itself out good luck guys and i see you <laughs> but, but i mean if it, on to the next well he <laughs> said he him need a uh, uh incantation to set him free oh and like i cover bertrand's ears like I move over to Bertrand to cover his ears. We kill him. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, though. If he's old and powerful, he might be tough to kill. What what kind of um, stuff was he into? You know, like magic. <laughs> what do you do? Well, it, it, yeah, as as I say, uh, it's, uh, elemental devices, uh, planar planar travel. Uh, it, it, powerful enough to to put one one hell of a spell on this the lock of this book. But uh, he is, but he is, but one. And if he is aged, he may be smart but frail, or he may be on his way to immortality. Many mages are. Huh? You uh -huh. may be in that book for far longer than you assume. My that is a that is so, a good point, Redis. So we can either try to kill him or try to convince him to let you out, because you I said mean, he could just do it voluntarily. I, I, absolutely. And He's... in return, my friend, you will share with us the secrets of these elemental devices you so teasingly are hinting at, I'm sure. Devices, here we go again. Us know. <laughs> in, in return, <laughs> if... Perhaps. Silence, clunk. If, <laughs> if, <laughs> he makes if, that noise for some reason. <laughs> if you can free me, I will grant one free casting of wish. Well, that's settled then, I'm sure. That's a slippery slope. Just letting you know. 
Do we have any idea? Do we have any idea where Zikram would be? Uh, I I know where his laboratory was, uh, and so I can direct you there. And either he may still be there, or that can uh, hopefully lead us to to where he would be after that. Has he written other books? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure he has. Uh, I'm just wondering it, if there might be more information in, in the library that might help us have a better idea of what we're dealing with if we looked at some of his other works. Also, is there uh, anything else in this book? Some pictures? Uh, I don't know. You guys would have to... Uh... I'll open it. I'm looking for some pictures. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So there, uh, there are no pictures, but um, if you give me one moment, I will tell you. Strange question. Can Carolus read, or is it just okay. like, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, that that's a good question. I didn't even ask him if he could. He's, he, he looks like uh, books to make himself look like he's well-read and learned, but he's not. I see. That's always a I fake see. persona. Working on a theory that you've learned, the yeah, you've probably charlatan learned and you're by not a now. wizard whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, you've learned by now that he, you know, stumbles with like the basic intellect stuff. So reading, he gets bored. Just fitting and, in and candle keep, you know. Yeah, you know, he likes to books. he likes to appear like he is sophisticated. Have um, I ever seen him cast a spell? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, you, you good. Do yeah. know, all right. You, you do you know he's very powerful. Him, you have seen him drop some hot shit for sure. And <laughs> All right, fair in, enough. In a clutch way. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's hiding his scrolls pretty pretty good then, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so so you're going to careless you're going to you're going to read uh, or, or kind of flip through the the book a little bit. I read the first couple of lines and see if I get bored or not. So as as you as you turn the page over, Gazri says, "Ah!" Uh, 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 <laughs> As you just wait a minute, just stay, there. You, stay there. You, well, I can't. I can't stay here. No, it's fine. I just wanted to read the first few lines, see if it was interesting. So if, if, if you turn the page back, he can reappear, but he, he is between the cover and he's, the first page, as it were. He's fine. Um, cool he's fine. He's been in there for a while. How, how bad could it be? Yeah, I, I read what's <laughs> on the first, like, page. Uh, yes, so the... Um, the the it seems as though it has i don't know maybe a hundred or so pages in it um the the first 10 pages are just kind of notes uh seemingly from zikrin um indicating him trying several different times to trap a genie uh in the book uh and then you know at, at the end of the notes it, you know it says that he finally succeeded uh the next Eight or so pages of our observations um, of the of the Jenny's behavior. I roll a willpower check to see if he would have lasted that long. I rolled a natural one. He yeah. would have probably just put it down and let someone else carry on. He just closed it back up and puts it back on the table. I put it back to the. <laughs> would, would anyone would anyone else like to? Uh... I rolled a natural one. I had to get it out of the way. <laughs> Nothing else to ask. Crack a dice. What are you doing to me? I rolled a yeah. one and a two. <laughs> you're getting them out of the way man you're just yeah. getting them out of the way ask the actual um, what's his name sorry the genie uh, Gazri, Gazri Azam Gazri Azam um, Gazri would, the book in which is your prison does it have any secrets that may aid us uh, if if there are secrets they are they are beyond me that, that way into the book I, it's not as though I can move around in the the prison it is it, it is a prison for me i'm i am trapped only on on this page hmm. i see would you, would you put you on page 68 would you <laughs> would you like to make an arcana check read us i think i shall never say no to that question with my skill and i got an 18. so with an 18 you 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 get the feeling that this was at one time a spell book and so as i said there are 10 pages of of notes and then you know eight pages of uh kind of observations on gazra behavior uh when he was serving zikrin and then 
about 90 pages of just blank of nothing but you get the sense within it with an 18 arcana check that that this was this was a spell book this was someone's spell book zikrin's maybe uh and that the the spells have been magically removed from the book in such a way that the pages are now once again blank which is not not something that you've seen normally a wizard would never pull the spells out of a page but uh Mm. I'll thumb but through it and like thumb along the edges of the uh, pages and I'll feel like um, bits of singed sort of paper and things and I'll show it to them and I'll say, look here, this, spell, this book has been near spells mm-hmm. being cast. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't surprise me if it was Zikram's own spell book at some point, but the spells are missing. He must have changed it when he trapped the genie. What if or took them out so that anyone who came across it wouldn't find his spell work? What mm. if we just break the book? Gazri? I mean, I feel like we tried that. If we break the book. Well, now that it's open, I mean, the pages, I mean. Oh, we, are the pages just... flammable? Yeah. Uh, uh, just... <laughs> uh, 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 so uh, I'm sure that you all know that there is. There is no burning, uh, especially of books and pages uh, in the candle keep. I'm just going to gesture to the fireplace. Like, we get uh, the gesture to the, the, the... It's special. Tom, this is a this is a prison, not a, not just a book. Uh, I, I I understand, but there there are magical wards that that not even I can, that's, that's not even the Lord of Candlekeep that, that I know of could could undo. What did if we you, stab did you try it? opening the book at all? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if he could open the book. <laughs> that honor is all your own. Carolus. N- n- no, Carolus, you're you're the only one that that has that has opened it. Why do we suppose that is? Why is that? I'm special. Carolus. Special, completely special. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you're special, yeah. Carolus, but why don't the five Genie. of you get Genie. what's a, what's his genie's uh, name? Get Gazri. Gazri is um. Yeah, get Gazri. Why? Why did you only talk to him? Well, you've seen uh, Carolus, um, almost turn into a genie and taking you with him many times into a secret hiding place, so for resting and stuff, so. For min- for many years, I have I have cried out and asking anyone that I can for help, and he seems to have been the only one who heard me, or maybe seems to be the only one who who cared enough to to try. I'll try not to be insulted by that. Okay. <laughs> Very well, Gazri. Why don't you tell us where Zikram's laboratory was or is? Where are we now? Candlekeep. Sword Coast, yes, Candlekeep. Candlekeep. I would say... If you follow the Sword Coast south for two nights and a day, there will be a spire in the water made of coral stand at the base of this spire and look inland and you will see the mouth of a flooded cave this cave contains at least what was Zikrin's laboratory and sanctum Uh, Rihanna did you write that down dear of course I did Uh, thank you of course Zikrin you're bound to the book so there's no reason you can't be uh, joining us on our little adventure uh yeah that's that's that is fine that is fine with me um master sage tamras says uh hmm it's a perfect idea come on yes i i i i I think uh one moment and she goes she goes to her desk and she kind of rifles through no need to look at the desk just you know it's worth it just take it and she comes library card and she comes back with a uh with with a with a, a small book, that is a book you've never seen before, just just a little kind of like almost like a prayer hymnal, and she looks at all of you and says, "As you know, the 
the the rules prohibit a, a book from being taken from Candlekeep, but what I can do is, since you are are, are magically attuned to Candlekeep, I can assign this book to your protection uh, so that you can freely leave the walls of Candlekeep with it. And should something unfortunate happen to you and it leave your possessions, it will, as any other book, return here to Candlekeep. And should that happen, I will know that you are all dead. Uh, and she begins to <laughs> recite um, recite an incantation over the book. And there is a, when she finishes, there's a, just this very slight kind of flash of light on the book. And then a, a slight flash of light on all of your hand tattoos as well. They, they almost for a moment seem to glow. Ah, uh, it's, it, it is, uh, it is done. Uh, she takes that, takes that back and, uh, and rifles around and pulls out another, another sheet of paper. And you can tell that it has a, a wax seal stamped on it. <clears throat> and she says, uh, if, if please show this to, uh, to, to the Emerald Gate and, and to the, and to the gatehouse, if anyone questions why you're leaving with a book and it will, it will tell them that you have official permission from the first reader to, uh, to, to take, to take this book out. She reaches in her pouch and she holds a, uh, ascending stone. She says, uh, I, I have the mate to this. Uh, if you would like to take this, you can keep me up to date on, on any of your findings. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, for a moment, I thought none of you were going to take it. It's like, yeah. we don't really want to let you know what's going on. Yeah. I, li I like you, Thomas, but not that much. You know. card is uh, <laughs> someone else take it. All right, so, so whoever took it, please add that to your inventory, Ascending Stone, and Got know it. that, it, that it, it comes to uh, Master Sage Thomas. Um, and uh, it's when uh, whenever you are ready, um, you are... You are you are free to go with 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 our thanks, and I I hope you can you can solve this uh, this predicament for him, for us, for everyone. I'm sure we can work it out. Thank you, uh, Tavern. Tavern. <laughs> yes, but we should. Uh, 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yes, when oh. whenever whenever you're ready to go on this important m mission for Candlekeep. Just... Yes, yes, we'll get around to the yes, mission. Yes. There's always another mission. It's fine. We've got time. Yes. Yes, he's only been in there a few decades. What's a few more days? <laughs> well, that is true. I, I, oh, I, no, I of course not. I, Let's go. I, I, I <laughs> hope one of the days? other we're doing a the bit. other mas one of the other master sages doesn't try to reassign this task to uh, to a different. Uh, Retainer group, but uh, you know, I'm sure that you guys can have it. That would be unfortunate since the other groups probably can't open it, and we will lock it back up. What do you think about uh, that, Thomas? Huh? <laughs> She's she shakes her head. It's it's a half smile and a half kind of disgust. <laughs> like she likes you, but she hates herself for liking you. Kind of look. <laughs> oh, you love working with us. You know you do. Maga, we keep it interesting for you. She 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 kind of shoots you a, just a little side eye smile. Uh, get, get, ah, get out. 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 Get some more books with pictures, please. And I'll walk out. I think those are on the first floor. <laughs> you, uh, you, you hear her holler out, yes, that's in the kitty section. Yeah, it's that very well, the little sponge chairs. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I ask before we leave, Thomas? Uh, Thomas, can we get a rush order put in it? Is it called the House of the Binder? Is that right? Uh, yes, a, a rush order for what? For this book. Can't help but think it might play to our advantage to have a copy. Perhaps we can fool Zikram into thinking we're giving him back his genie. That's not a bad idea. We can trick him. This is hmm. why you are the brains of the operation, Veritas. Please, thank you, I know. But I, I will share my knowledge with all of you, of course. <laughs> right, but we gotta uh, talk yes. to him <laughs> Let's, uh, why don't you go to the tavern? She says, kind of tongue-in-cheek. 
and and I will see I will see if the binders can uh, can 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 whip one up uh, very quickly. I, I will I will I will send you to the stone. I will let you know. As always, Thomas, a pleasure. Well, at least for one of us. We won't let you down. Mm. Oh, Thank might. you. Don't, don't, don't you gotta stop telling her that, because the day we do let her down, she's gonna be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> we just went she... off the back of like several successful missions, or are we just like the worst? <laughs> no, 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 you. I, 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 I would like, say that it. The B C team, like she's yeah. tried everybody else to open this book. Yeah, you know, like we're like the Scooby Doo <laughs> gang. Like we get the guy eventually, but like, like you know. one of us ends up trapped in a net along the way and like it's more because we, we just kind of crash into him by accident yeah well yeah, I, I, I will say with like the, third, the third adventuring team to try this <laughs> I, I will say that with the nature of many of the enigmas here there's not a whole lot of room for not being the best i mean so you guys are like an a to you and and the couple of other teams that you know of that are retained are the a team because if you're not at that level, you have a very nice tombstone. Mm. And we know we're good, and we just <laughs> you know you're not dead yet. <laughs> I think it's because we know we're good, and that's where yeah. the cockiness and joking around comes from. Yeah, screw those other teams. I hate those other teams. I, mean, <laughs> I don't even know who they are. But I hate them. <laughs> oh well, you know them. You you've had run-ins with them, uh, but uh, again, you uh, it's kind of in good fun, and again, it's a. We're rivals, and I'm laughing, but I would fucking cut your throat if we weren't in Candle Keep. Whoa. Okay. Kind of one of those. <laughs> and it's on all sides. Well, all right. Okay, you're going Gary Oak on me. I'm going to have a <laughs> <laughs> That kind of party. Uh, all right, so you guys are going to head back to the tavern while... Uh, yeah. While, while she sees if, if she can get a, a rush job put together? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, good deal. Well, so we'll we'll say that you make it back there uneventfully without uh, without clunk uh, hurting anyone. Or, can I roll or, 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 Can I roll for He says. Or Carolus getting too involved in pictures of things. Carolus is probably like walking in front of Crank, trying to sort of like get in the way and confuse his programming to see if he like tries to dodge out of the way and no he's like a tesla so like if he, you know if he recognizes uh also he still recognizes him. matter <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's where i was going he's like a tesla he's great and then he runs off the cliff into the water yeah well there was clunk one two clunk three clunk and two. four yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. that was clunk two we lose more clumps that way <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll say you guys got back to the tavern, and why don't we, um, we'll take a, just a quick five minute bio break, and yeah. uh, then we'll then we'll come back and uh, and see what, what kind of nonsense you can get into. So, yeah. so or at it. the tavern, <laughs> uh, you guys head in. Uh, there are a few more folks in there kind of having a, you know, brunch type uh, shenanigans, but you, you head right to your, uh, your private room. Uh, you you pass by a uh, little one who is still uh, diligently reading that book. Mm-hmm. And uh, how you far head... has he got? <laughs> uh, I mean, he's gotten several several pages further. He, he's not on the same page. I mean, you he he has intelligence nineteen. You're you're underselling his reading skills a little bit. Oh. <laughs> he's smarter than most of us. <laughs> yeah, he, so he, he's he definitely that, smarter that, than me. That headband of intellect. So. Yeah. What does that give him? 19, uh, isn't it? Intelligence 19. <laughs> well, I'm a 10. <laughs> I, want, I, want to, I want to take it off him. Right? I feel me. Oh, like, goodness. Yeah. Uh, so uh, maybe something that I didn't tell everyone is the uh, the, the the rules of Candlekeep, which is uh, no fighting. Steal stuff. No stealing, no copying, and no damaging marking or otherwise modifying the works. And so those are the the official rules, uh, kind of posted everywhere. So, you know, if you got into a fight, it would your butts would be in a bit of a sling. Uh, would never do that. What? Well, us get in a never. fight? No, never. I mean, if you think you, it, it just it mitigates all your fire damage. So if you think you can do it without fire, uh, wait, just fire? I mean, never mind. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. So there'll be no more Candle Keep mysteries after this. So it's a <laughs> wreck We're finding on the some new ones. 
Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you guys are back into your private room. And you have uh, the book. You have Zikram's Zephyrian Tome with you. I'll open it, give the guy some space. Mm-hmm. Wait, do we have it, or did it have to go to the binder place to be copied? He is checking to see if they can uh, accommodate that. There's no guarantee on whether they can accommodate oh, that in a generous. short time. Well, they know who we are. Right? <laughs> no, nah, not not particularly. Right, right, right. <laughs> they know who she is. <laughs> um, before we set off on our adventure, allow me to take a quick peek at all of your gear. I'm Again, sure Rita, I told you, quit, quit, quit trying to do this. <laughs> do it's it. always creepy when you ask like Can- that. Consent, please. <laughs> Just let do me it. Uh, let me inspect your gear. <laughs> Just lay it on the table. That wasn't better, readers. Put, yeah, put your face right. What you doing with your eyes up there like that? You put your face right. You His ersatz eye is just spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it like Mad Eye Moody kind of spinning around? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. What, don't oh. I look like a person you can trust? <laughs> oh, oh, here's, here we go again. Here we go, readers. Here, here it is. All right, what right. you want? What do and you I'll want? The party, like. Do you have any anything on you that's non-magical that I can make magical? I can make your armor plus one. I can make your weapon plus one. Oh, sorry, no, I can make your armor plus two or your weapon plus two. I can make your weapon returning. I can give you a ring, which gives you spell slots back. I can give you an enhanced arcane focus that gives you plus one to all spell attack rolls. I can give you boots that teleport you 15 feet. I can make give you armor that makes resistance to certain damages. And I can give you enchant a shield to get plus one and also use to knock people back. So, so a point of clarification on that. Does it have to be a mundane item? It does. I can't use? infuse a magic item. It has to be That's one, so one each. All, all yes. of all of every, you every, people. Everything on me magic. <laughs> slavering <laughs> over getting your plus two stuff enchanted again <laughs> it has to be that. it has oh, to yeah. be mundane what's the um what's the uh the the, the, the spell slot one yeah that's, that's i can do one. i can do four of them so someone's gonna have to sacrifice their chances at getting something pretty cool what, um yeah what can, can do... you do with this and i will reach into my bag of holding and place my spyglass on the table is it your walking Just out. No. It's not. It's just a spyglass. <laughs> it's just a spyglass. It's <laughs> a random shit Bertrand's got. In okay. Bag. Got I'll, spyglass. I'll, it's just a regular spyglass. Yeah. I'll lift <laughs> it up and I'll extend it. I'll put it down and then I'll use my cloak to just polish the lens mm-hmm. and then I'll give it back to him. There. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it do, Redis? It lets you see into the distance with clarity. Does that already? So it's just. Who else not... would like to benefit? shit readers. <laughs> Me. <laughs> what, is, what do you do with, for the spell slots? I can give you a ring, and it will let you return some magical energy that you've expected. Well, I like One rings. Spell. Well, allow me, and um, he'll get out like a, we'll call it like a bit of wire that's been wrapped around several times. Um, and it is a functional ring. It's not very pretty, but he places it on the table and he extends his goggles of minute seeing, or his monocle in this case, and he just begins to use some peculiar esoteric tools around it to poke and prod until he hands it to you. And it's been infused with magical energy and you can use the ring to um, recover one expended spell, spell slot of third level or lower. Nice. Yeah. Very so nice. So warlock. I slide it on next Gets to my other warlocks. two rings because I got lots of bling. What was the thing about boots? I could mm. use. I mean, boots I can use. Your boots, if you place them on the table, I can make it so that you can appear in other places just by clicking the heels together. This is confusing me. You, you can do all this. You, you can't pour fucking tea. <laughs> right. You listen to me, okay? Carolus, uh, pouring tea from a golem is very complex maneuver. I can't magic it into him. That is He's true. got to learn the ratios and the, the level of the cup. <sighs> yes, you, I you, you, are, you all look over and Clunk has it and he's he's trying to practice and he goes from here 
to hear like each time. <laughs> I just and, then, and then he <laughs> notices that, that you're watching him and he, he kind of puts it back into his, his chest cavity. I'm just, I'm just picturing Clunk like very, very carefully pouring tea and then just like smashing it into the table. <laughs> 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 I would like my armor doing. Armor would be fantastic. Very well. Uh, and he won't have you, you know, put it off so it takes time. He will um, just approach you and have you stand straight up like a tailor would. Spread your arms. Stand still. And he'll get out some sort of magical chisel and he'll begin infusing a wire up the gilding of the armor. So it runs parallel to all the chinks and the sort of uh, recesses in the plate or chain or whatever it is and uh, or is it leather, leather? leather okay. i've got smoldering uh, leather armor all right cool oh it's magical is it it doesn't really say but wisps of harmless odorless smoke smoldering it says it's, it's a common item. magic it says it's common item common, common, item, ma common, common ma magic common item. magical item and he'll immediately notice what he's doing as not not. Oh, just do it to my shirt. Do it to my shirt. There we go. Very well. Very well. Does this work, DM? It says enchant a piece of armor. Oh shit! I don't know. <laughs> Are you, do you have any other armor bits? Do you have gauntlets or yeah, boots I've got or some leather gauntlets? Yeah, let's say that. Is that All right, fair? we'll do that. <laughs> All right. He'll uh, take the gauntlets and he'll pull out each finger and he'll wrap the same wire around each of them. It begins to glow. Um, this wire until it um, expands in its like strength of its glow, glow, uh, glow, and then it just dissipates. But he will hand them back to you and assure you that they have been Lovely. enchanted. You'll now enjoy further protection from harm. Curse so, of your friend readers. Plus How two, long yeah. does this last? Last? Why? Forever, my dear Petra. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. I have Delight. a. Uh, I have a Yakulwa. Well. Forever, five days, either one, you know. <laughs> you know. Until you die. <laughs> yes. <coughs> I have a, a yakulwa that I'm going to lay on the table, which is like this um, kind of like a longer wooden spear sort of situation with a, a kind of like a sword thing at the end of it. I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. Cool, cool. It's a melee weapon. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> somewhat, somewhat like a three-foot wooden shaft with a steel or stone blade up to 18 inches long. Hmm. That. If only there was such a name for such a device. <laughs> and he will, um, he'll take a look down this day and he'll just sort of ponder for a few moments. This is a bit unusual, this, um, this weapon. And he will, um, best way to make this seem thematic, he'll take out one of his magical I, um, smith's tools, which he uses for his magics, and he will start um, sort of sharpening the blades, but it's not yellow sparks that come off, it's like blue and green and purple, until he hands it you back and he says, now, just place it very gently on the table, blade down. <laughs> And I'll say it just cuts like into the table just from the weight of its own hilt. Nice. Nice. Sharper, Thank you. Sharp enough to cut through a dragon's scales and everything. Else. Indeed. Now I'm we, getting a bit tired. We, we shall we shall test that later. <laughs> I've got just one more in me. So <clears throat> what did it be, Cesar? Or uh, I, Cesar like looks through like all of his stuff and like magic. We got a warhammer we don't use. You want to use? Do you want to try it on this? My magical talents are in high demand, Cesar. I prefer not to use it on something you don't use. I did the rest of me magical boy. You ain't got nothing you can do to help me. Did I get the boots? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got the boots too? Yeah. Well, I think that's all of my things done then. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, sorry. I'm all spent. All spent on the arcane tinkering. I hope you enjoy How... them. I can go 15 feet. You can exactly. Um, it is the boots of the winding path. While you're wearing the boots, you can teleport 15 feet as a bonus action to an unoccupied space. Yeah. And how how often is that? Can you do that? All the time, every day, whenever he wants. Every <laughs> <laughs> day, every wow, day. Wow, like on every every bonus action. It seems so. It doesn't. Wow. There is Man. any 
Artificers are broken. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> your infusion ends at that end indefinitely when you die. The infusion vanishes after five days. Yeah, I think I've got it all down right. And I think that he can do that whenever he likes. There's no short rest cooldown, but that also seems unusual. To well, me. but it's only a 15 foot teleport, though. 15 so. foot, yeah. It's not yeah. like they're going to do too much yet. So. Like, ha ha, I'm away now. <laughs> are you? Are you really? That's all my, oh, gosh, my fingers ache now. But we're now prepared to take Read this us. task. For as much crap as we give you, occasionally you are useful. Just occasionally. Come on now, Bush. Oh, yeah, get it occasionally because it goes to your head. It, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, save your praise. I already know how great. It's okay, Redis. We did the same thing about Bertie. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the acolyte who had delivered the message to you earlier comes back and knocks on your door and, and slides it open and, uh, again, is, is uncomfortable. With with all of you in there, uh, I'm uh, I'm sorry. Uh, a message. Um, the uh, the 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 house of the binder is is uh, they're all full up with the, the the latest works of the avowed that that needs to come out. They're they're behind schedule already, and and they can't do whatever you had asked them to. Uh, I'm sorry. And then re- wait, not waiting to be dismissed, he 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 dips. Wait, oh uh, dear. <sighs> Okay. DM, I have a question. Um, mm-hmm. Is it like is like what is the standard like? Should you tip the little page boys that come give us messages? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. I was a couple about coppers, that. or like, is this like their their thing? And like, the, this is this is their job. They okay. they 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 work as acolytes, hoping to progress their way up in Candlekeep and become different librarians and and things like that so this is they're kind of they're kind of making their bones doing this yeah so it would it would would not be seen as nice it would be inappropriate to offer that oh well no you you certainly could it is not not required and not um no one will ever be like uh, uh, mm?" hey quit tipping (laughs) our people okay (laughs) yeah no one's gonna say stop tipping and none of the none of the acolytes will wait an extended period for a tip yeah, um, uh, if, if you do it, great. They they would be, you know, bowled over by it. But um, it's completely up to you. It's a game now. We try to tip that acolyte before they can run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I, since since he's a thing now, I got to give him a name. Yeah. Yeah, just, <laughs> just start throwing <laughs> coppers at him. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> don't don't leave yet. Don't leave. But we throw them really <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> I try to this bake is, him uh, off the wall so it lands in front of him as he's running out the door. And that's and that's Somebody. how Bertram fell as a paladin because he accidentally <laughs> murdered a page boy with a coin. I mean, somebody in this group has a sling because I remember seeing it on your character sheet. Oh yeah, so. no, that's not us. <laughs> that's one of my that's one of my Kensei weapons. <laughs> Slinging coins at this poor page boy. It's like Goodfellas when Jeff Beshi shoots that poor kid. <laughs> that's that's how we roll here, I guess. Apparently, uh, yeah. So he uh, he he's yelling back, "Thank you," but he dips, even though you're throwing coins at him. He's trying to pick them up and not get pelted some more, but uh, he's he's trying to make himself scarce. <laughs> You're all very cruel to that poor boy, even though Wait, I was trying, I trying to be helpful. <laughs> I remember my days as an acolyte. It's terrible running back and forth all day. Yes, people slinging coins at you. I mean, <laughs> would be. I'm just trying to be nice. Are there any coins still on the ground? Uh, there's a couple that, that kind of bounced back into the room. Oh my God, pick, yeah, them back up. Up. pick it back up. <laughs> yeah. I'm deducting some, some copper out of my sheet here. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. What? What? During all of this shenanigans, what is what is uh, Carolus been? Uh... What in a tavern? Or yeah. Is, what, while they're... while they're was winging coins at the page boy, he's probably um, eyeing up the uh, the local barmaids and stuff, and pretending he, again he's reading a book, <laughs> looking rather <laughs> You're trapped, up rather hands. <laughs> Not <laughs> the barmaids. <laughs> He is um, the barman. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's just relaxing and stuff. And, okay. Yeah. And then how about how about you, Mina? Are you uh, are you swinging that new 
you 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 Yikulwa? Um, you pick the the, <laughs> the most Yikulwa. Yikulwa. You pick the most difficult thing in D and D to pronounce. It's you're, it's Y K L W A. Yeah, no, but they're awesome. I love yeah. it. Oh yeah, because um, I, I I I do love me a good like you know sword staff situation. A good unpronounceable weapon. Yeah, yeah that. Yeah, definitely, definitely practicing. Just like randomly, well, I can't cut through books or paper or anything like that. So I'm just, uh, you know, pretending in my head. Just cool. doing some katas. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, like those that. guys at the mall with the devil sticks, just twirling yeah, it around. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, all right. So what's your... What's your plan? You're gonna hang out here for a while. You've just been told that your your extremely good idea of copying the book uh, cannot be done in any kind of quick fashion. If he hadn't run away so quick, I was going to ask if maybe they could just at least copy the cover. It's not like the inside has to look good. But the Gosh, if, weenie ran away. If only you guys had a sending stone. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who needs a stone? I have a god for that. Who needs a D&D &D walkie-talkie that the DM gave you? Hey, 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 wait, so, uh, so wait, wait, uh, said, like uh, five words. <laughs> so oh my God. Right I'm going to be, I'm going to have to be Travis now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <from> critical role. <laughs> so you just said five, like five eyes. You said five eyes. <laughs> Cesar, you know how this spell works. Yeah, but you, uh, 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 <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on the table? But take my hands off it. I'm gonna. Push the money I talked to her then. I'll push it towards Carolus. Can you copy the cover? Oh yeah, Nina. Okay, Can you so... copy the cover? All right. So that's that's ten. You have you have fifteen more words. It's not Jester. We don't have to use them all. That's true. <laughs> Please. Uh, is she? Is she <laughs> hoping? <laughs> she comes. She comes back. Uh, no, I, I don't make copies. That's the, that's the house, house of binding. Did, did my page not come to you? Said, you know, can copy the book. We just need the cover. I love the... <laughs> that might be my favorite part too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe may, may, I can give it a shot. Maybe you should just go by there and then show them your letter and tell them it's official business. They don't like us. <laughs> what did <laughs> you right. do? You're muted, Nate. I believe it's from when um, Cesar tried to make several copies of his pamphlet to the sea gods. <laughs> I, look, we look still at, haven't they let, gotten over that. If they let, they let me cast a storm here, I wouldn't need to make my pamphlets, all right? To make a single storm, it would it'd be fine. Yes, but you did You're requisition to hand those out everywhere. Like, <laughs> we get it, you know. You get the message back. Uh, you know, maybe I should just come get the stone and hang on to it. Um, <laughs> it's, that one seems to be malfunctioning. No, we going to keep it. We'll call you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Maybe we just don't let Cesar go. Maybe we uh, we send someone a little less um, controversial to the House of Binding. No, okay. did not let me talk. That's, uh, that's fine. Did not let me yeah. talk. Less but... controversial, I shall go. Maybe yeah. I should go. May maybe yeah. I should go. Read us and Mina, big Mina, stompy. Will you go, please? please. I was just about to volunteer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Very well. <laughs> Meanwhile, during during all of this, Gazra Azam is has just been kind of watching all of you with completely perplexed look on his face. Uh, happy to be not locked with the cover smashed against his face, but very perplexed still. He might have he confident... into fire. <laughs> yeah. How confident does he feel that we are um, the only thing coming between him and freedom? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, Mina, are you... Would you like to take the book to the House of Binding and see if they can just replicate just kind of the cover bit? Yes. Am I going alone? No, I go with you. 
<laughs> no, I think you should oh. maybe stay here. Take Carol last with you. Yes. I'll come, yes. I'm sure there's some pretty things for you to look at. We can we can hang out in the courtyard. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, giant map loads faster though after it's loaded the first time. Uh, yeah. So you guys uh just gonna hang out in the court the court of air a little bit. And the two, the uh, Mina and uh, Carolus will go to the House of the Binder. I'll tell you what, I'll go get the horses ready so we can get on the road quicker. Do you own horses? Um, what kind of question is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a dungeon master question? Well, of course yeah. we do. They're definitely on yeah, all so of our sheets. I'm not sure. Yes. Um, did anyone spend one of the, any of their gold on a horse? I have um, a war elephant. Uh, you do? I do now. <laughs> I haven't spent any of my 1,500 gold. I haven't spent <laughs> any of mine either, so... Well, so yeah. I. I will tell you before you all squander it, this is going to be your first divine intervention, that you know that traveling south of here along the coast means you're going to be kind of a little bit of kind of foresty plains and then climbing down the side of the cliff to the coast. So elephants and, and cliffs. And so if you think war elephants like cliffs, I will happily let you purchase one. Hey, <laughs> I know a guy who marched them over the, um, the Alps that could, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so roll, roll for how much vinegar you have. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe the war elephants aren't a good idea. Don't know why I'm saying that in character. We don't have. Uh, it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm gonna let you all think on that for a minute. We're gonna let Mina and Carolus uh, go to the House of Binder, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys come up with uh, when I come back. <laughs> I follow. So why are we here, Mina? I was looking around the tavern and wasn't really listening. Oh. Very simple. We just have to get this, uh, just the cover of the book. Just so, you know, it looks were, like this. I thought they were bringing it to us. Well, they said that they couldn't. They were backed up or something. Well, there's a toilet for that. Okay, um, <laughs> yes, let's, let's get it. Okay. Okay. So you, uh, you guys open the door and, and go in and the, the page was not, he was not kidding. It is, it is in full furious swing in there. You've, you've never seen just everyone so busy. And there's, there are a number of folks who, uh, who are standing there with their requests of, uh, of things to be, to be copied, but there's seemingly only one teller, um, but I don't know that you guys are going to wait in line for that. So move, please, move, please. Thank you. Official business. Official business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you you flash your uh, your no, candle keep say, tattoos? Please move. I'm the yes. owner. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm they're, the owner. They're a, please move. They're a little put out, but the fact that you're not dressed as sages and scribes and that you're dressed like warlocks, they're. Uh, they're, 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 they're not uh, they're, they're not breaks. mouthy enough to say anything about it it's kind of like uh, you son of a uh, yes sir uh, please oh my god uh, are the warlocks like the cool kids of candle key they're like the cool kids well again I, mean, so it's, it's, I think anybody that's yeah pretty much all of you and all of the other retainers are the school bullies um, I mean everyone here is, is pretty much dressed in very simple kind of scholarly or, or, or sagely robes, and you guys have swords and weapons and shields and armor. Oh, he's... And we don't have a single wizard in the pie. Stupid wizard nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing like um, like Who studded uh, armor, yeah. which is smoldering armor. And yeah, he's yeah. And your armor fancy... is just smoking, and so yeah. sometimes yeah. Like, is he is he okay? Okay, I guess he's okay. He's fine. And my my yickle wall speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so you push your way to the front, and there's there's a very, a very harried looking uh, uh, a clerk there who is a little bit taken aback that you pushed to the front, but 
also sees your your tattoos on your hand and uh, 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 yes uh, can we yeah, hello can waiting I, can I... waiting and waiting we are on important business can you please yes, get so, all cover so sorry I know you're very busy but we need this for a mission is there any way that you can help us out uh, yeah, I, I told uh, Master Sage Thomas that there's just absolutely any gestures back to the flurry of activity. There's just no way that we can copy a, a, a hundred-page tome. There's just, there's just no way. Oh, we don't need cover. we don't need the pages. We just need it to look like the book. If you could just be the outside of it, that would be perfect. Make a persuasion roll and. Do it with advantage because we're saying that Carolus is doing yes. a an intimidation wow. on him. So it's it's kind of a I good can... cop bad cop you guys are putting yeah. down on him. Um. All so, right. So so do do you have? Uh, oh, you haven't picked yours up yet, have you? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. Did did you get? Did you pick your Kraken dice up? No. From Ryan. Oh. No, well, no. I um. I ha- Thursday. I'm gonna get it Thursday. Gotcha. So I just well, do it on roll 20. Let's hang on a minute. I, I'm jealous because that means you get to see the baby. I know. Oh, <laughs> we, saw the baby, <laughs> Sorry, we saw the baby today. We went and dropped some ah, stuff off. Shut it. Oh. It was exciting. I'm Had taking him to food first. too. It's going to be great. Yeah. Anyway. Then then we're going to let Carolus make the roll with his cracking crack dice. dice. Uh, Exclamation point giveaway if you uh, are not into it. You rolled a one and a two earlier with those dice. It's going to be fine. He's on the up and up. It's It's going to be fine. Yeah, what could be worse? One or two? It can only only get better. So I watch him roll a three I got a 15 and a four. So I rolled a 15, so that's (laughs) 24. 24. (laughs) So, yeah, between between the good cop, bad cop thing that you're doing, he, he, uh, he, 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 okay, he he reaches out to take the, the book from you. And uh, and he starts to he starts to open the cover. Oh, oh, um, if you could just if you could just not open the cover. There's um, it's it's classified. It, could you just copy the outside? It, it might oh. explode. A wink. Oh yeah. God. Uh, uh, sh- okay. sure. Uh, right. Does it have to be good? A good copy? Of course. It- just. Uh, uh, like if you could make it at least eighty-five to ninety percent accurate, I mean that'd be nice. That's okay, it's, it's 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 okay. It's, 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 it's take it's take about about 40, 40 minutes. Uh, oh, oh god! Think, and, okay. and he just, just he just, just he just okay. fucks off to the back with the book. Like he is he's a little bit now that you've said it's a bomb and it's classified. <laughs> He's uh he he has no idea what's going on. But he said it would take about forty minutes. Wow. So. Look to me okay. now, Tavern. Tavern. <laughs> so let's transition Everyone back to. Everyone in Candlekeep is terrified of us. <laughs> the the rest of your crew who has been yeah. discussing. We really are the bullies of hor- Candlekeep. Horses, <laughs> horses, and war elephants, and uh, okay. oh, I don't even know what else. <laughs> Comes back on a scene. Redis is like, I'm telling you, if we pool all our gold together, we can buy a teleport scroll and just get there straight away. I'm not using a teleport scroll with you. Last time we tried to teleport with you, me lost a hand. <laughs> you, you realize how long it took me to grow that thing back? Well, I promised so, to get back. So he actually, yeah, Riala, he actually I'm has a prosthetic, kidding. a prosthetic <laughs> arm. Look, I promise. Or to get that maybe you grew it back, and he lost it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep on losing limbs. It's ridiculous. Look, I lost the first hand. You were responsible for losing it the second time, so... It's not even oh. the right color. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think a wyvern would cost? Uh, um, I'd have... Well, we'd have to find uh, somebody capable of giving us the use of one. Is there anyone like that in Candlekeep? Provides you could you could check you, you could check at the at the the, the smithy and stables. I mean, you, you, the there are horses there, but there you also notice someone has a. Uh, Doesn't a, the candle a, keep have like a griffin stable or something weird? Well, yeah, they they so there there are some uh, some some hippogriffs or or griffins. Um, it's one of the two, and I don't remember which. Yeah, it, it, but they, that's all at the smithy and stables. But okay. uh, you're welcome to go over and 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 chat with them. Let's head over. And wait, we'll wait for um, uh, Mina and Carius to come back, and then we will head over. Okay. Any luck the, uh, with the book? 
there? Seems so. About 40 minutes and should be good. Perfect. Okay. It's very busy. Mm. Well, you know, just show those wizard nerds a bit of muscle and they'll do anything you want. We were nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are very nice. <laughs> that works too, I suppose. Yeah, well, you're half right. <laughs> <laughs> I was nice. That was me being nice. <laughs> Right, we'll head over to the state. The weird thing is, is at the beginning of the stream, I was like, he's a very nice chap, and I was planning to play him that way, and he's turned into a complete arsehole. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny how that happens. The characters just develop, you know? Yeah. The path to awareness is paid may, with good intentions, Lee. Maybe it's just about uh, about the only the half a cup of tea that you had. Yeah. We get a full cup of any of he's a totally nice guy. Yeah. I didn't really occur to me before we started either that like my intelligence is eight and like I'm like oh, oh no I've got I've got no oh. good ideas. <laughs> it's okay. Cesar has an idea. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got an idea. You learned it from your distant to... cousin. I got an idea. <laughs> for those that are watching, for those that are watching, exclamation mark giveaway. We are sponsored by Crack and Dice. If you would like to win some dice. Please enter. Thank you. Click clack math rocks. Oh, I don't have mine yet. <laughs> Let's go see what services and stables provide. Perhaps yes. a flying creature of some kind. And we'll head out to across the courtyard. That okay. almost rhymed. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you make it over there and you see a, um, a gold dwarf who seems to be pretty much in charge of everything there. And uh, he's, you know, he's kind of showing a couple of apprentices uh, how to how to produce shoes uh, for, for horses and stuff. Giant forge, which you're wondering how it's heated with no fire. You don't know if this has been a special exception or if he's using some other means to heat the forge. So Redis for sure is interested in that a little bit. Hmm. Redis will is right. He does this every time he meets a dwarf. I'm just gonna stand there next to Clunk, and if he doesn't compliment Clunk, I'm just gonna be really upset. I'll just be like, okay, that thing, huh? Ooh, wonder yeah. what, wonder <laughs> who made that thing, huh? Ooh, wow, he, that's a that's a hell of a thing, eh? Ooh. He uh, he he notices that that you've all kind of grouped around, and he slowly looks, slowly looks over. And he looks Clunk up and down. Are, uh, are you looking to park that here? What? No. It's, are you it's looking a... to? Are you your machine? Are you looking to park it? Machine? It, it's a. Are just Pat Rita's on the shoulder. Do, do, he looks at his feet. Does does he need to be shod? <laughs> I, uh, I don't. I don't, I'll I don't try and flip don't the. Know that uh, I have a pattern. Try and flick him a gold. My, my man. It's a magical creature that walks and fights. Surely a dwarf can appreciate such a thing. I tried to sneak I mean, him a goal to compliment it. it. Uh, uh, okay, roll roll a sleight of hand <laughs> with, with advantage because everybody's watching Rita. Oh, thank you for the advantage because I was about I, to say I, shit. <laughs> I rolled a thirteen and an eight, so sixteen. Yeah, he 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 realizes that by the feel that now there's a piece of gold in his hand, and he's like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you made this. Yes, I made it. <laughs> Amazing. I, yeah. I, I, I certainly, and now he starts to kind of walk around it a little bit. I certainly have seen some things like this, but never anything that was made by someone. This is, this is quite the, quite the feat, uh, son. Yes, yeah, yeah, it'll go straight to his head. That's enough. Yes, it's are, very uh, great. Go on, go on, Are you looking... On. Are you, are, are, you, are, you, are you looking to park him? No, I'm not looking to here? park it here. Okay. No, ah, good, okay. sir. We're looking for, we, 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 we are going to be on a quest and we're looking for mounts. Uh, yes. Oh, I, I have, I have loads of them in there. Yep. See, that's no, where I, the mounts are. You've done, I, I, your quest is, it's complete now, huh? And he, you see that he, he kind of slides that gold in his pocket uh, and he's got a bit of a smile on his face. No, that, that ain't the, we got, we're going to be heading south and we're going to need mounts. We've got to go down the coast, you know, rocky cliffs and such. You got anything that can traverse that type of land? 
Uh, well, uh, the the horses will, but uh, only once, and it's a pretty rough land at the bottom. Not something that will roll down the hill, God, man. <laughs> something that can actually navigate, either flying or walking. Well, alas, the only flying mounts we have are, are not ours to rent. They they belong to to, to visitors to to Candlekeep, and so they're they're Which they're not on the. Oh, that will do. That will do. Yes. <laughs> well, that'll do, don't you? <laughs> Maybe he's like, you know, when you meet an Irishman and like you actually, you accidentally start doing the uh, the accent, and you're like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> or when you're like me and trying desperately not to go into your bad Scots accent, and it's like, you don't do a good one, don't do it, don't go, <laughs> don't ever go full Scots. Don't ever go full Scots. When when you. <laughs> When you ask him who's and and then just kind of seem like the, the, the oh yeah we'll just take them, he he definitely kind of backs off and is a little bit standoffish with that. I was joking. I, they're 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 left uh, left here in in, in my care. It's, Let's just it's walk. Not, not, it's not for me to tell you whose they are to to sell them out from under them. Why don't we get the elephant? We'll ride the elephant and then we'll get off. And then go down the the cliff. We can, we can, we can just, just leave the elephant. Why don't we just side walk? Just, just he, leave the he, elephant all together. He looks. He looks around the stables. You got a. Uh, you got an elephant. You're looking to park here. No. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Elephant. Don't say nothing else to me. I'm walking away. <laughs> we Wherever we go, we never get elephants. I want an it's... elephant. Come into my state, don't talk to me like that. You send them. Right. You get stoked the, 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 the fire. Just stoke the fire. I meet exactly you outside these walls. Have this fire? Huh? Hmm? No, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's, <laughs> there's no fire here. Lad, you uh, you literally must be, just you, said stoke you, the fire. You must, you must be drinking. It's a little early to be drinking this morning. Uh, no, uh, it's not never too early to drink. He's got a point. We have had a few. Here's a butterscotch. Uh, uh, go be. I'm also I have a, uh, the fire. What, what <laughs> you see, Why? I think the people up at the keep might be upset if they found out there was a fire going on down here. So, you know, maybe you want us to keep that under wraps. Maybe you help us out with some transportation. He kind of hangs his head. All right. And he reaches in his coat and pulls out his letter. Elephants? No, he pulls out his letter from the the Lord Master of Candlekeep. This guy. This, this is how I have a fire here, Lassie. Never come asking to my place how I make the business work. Well, and then he smile and then and then he smiles at you. He's like, but I appreciate the attempt. He tucks his letter back in his coat. Ah. So he's not mad at you. He he actually appreciates your guile in <laughs> in trying that. It was well played well, with him. It was worth a try. I very much so. Absolutely. Hashtag, so that you hashtag can... stable drama. So, uh, how much are your elephants? We're not taking elephants. An elephant is not going to be able to trans. Verse the... We already know that there's no elephants here. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, the the elephant would, but like the horses, it's uh, one, oh, one time, one, one time way, use. Way. And the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about like, you know, axe beaks, maybe? Donkeys? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, now, I do love me some axe beaks, but you just don't see them around here very much. It's ah, it makes me miss my, miss my time in Neverwinter. Yes, yeah, so all like the time the going. Paul. Yes. Mm, nay. There's a great book about Paul the X Beak up in the keep. You should read it. Yes. Yes. Huh. So he, many adventures. He pulls out a little pad and, and writes that down. I will I will check that out. Thank you. Text his pad back in. Now, is there anything I can I can actually help you with? Are we walking? No, I think we're good. <laughs> Gazri said mm. it was only two nights in a day. It's easily walkable. Let's go. When was the last time we went I... on an adventure? <sighs> Yesterday. Last week. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> In a library with no books. Oh. <laughs> Loads of words. 
you know what i see uh, you guys better be on top of this because i see where this wish is going right now like i oh, wish no. all the books kind of keep had pictures in them <laughs> <laughs> I just get a, a feeling that like um, Carolus has just recently read a book with a picture of an elephant in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want one of them. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's gold and nothing to spend it on. Let's we'll, we'll, traveling. Gear. We'll say that with all of the hashtag stable drama, the uh, you have passed. It's it's a little less than the forty minutes, but they you you see the the clerk kind of looking out the front. Um, he doesn't have the book in his hand, so you hope he hasn't lost it. But he is looking looking at the front, trying to trying to find you, and, and he sees you, and, just, and he waves. Uh, I start waving at him to come over here. And, and he, he looks around, and he's like... <laughs> you, you come over here. <sighs> but I think we should just go over there. All right. We, we head over here. Yeah. Don't be obscene. All we do is cause trouble here, and I love it. <laughs> do you do you have the All stuff? All right, let's go. Do you have the uh, stuff? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's it's inside, and, and it didn't blow up, thankfully. Don't, don't make it look wonderful. Dodgy. I look around for guards, and I give him a nudge, and we walk in. Oh God! Hey, do you just kind of like shove him back in? No, I just give him a nudge. <laughs> like, oh, just a nudge. Okay, know. gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, so he he goes in and and sitting on the counter are are the two books and and for sure you can tell which one is the real one. The other one is it's about eighty five percent. That's what Mina asked for. Excellent. Um, did, you, did you enchant it? Uh, I, I, did, did did you guys? Oh, God, mm. so gullible. Thank you very much, and I will pick up the books. Oh, and that'll that'll be the who's paying for that? Um, Bye. I'd pay for it. I also want to talk to you about some pamphlets while I'm while I'm in here. It's um. And he he looks up on the wall and there's a, there's a drawing of Caesar. And he's just like. Hand drawn one. No, 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 no. The, 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 the like, like a, like a, a hand drawn wanted poster. Like... There's, a, there's a mustache on it. I ain't got no mustache. It's a different man. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at that. Look at me. Look at me. Caesar, that is someone's drawn that mustache. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, I talk to Sage Thomas. I she should be able to cover this. Oh, okay. I mean, how you. much? How much is it? No one bothered to ask. Oh, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll 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 talk to Thomas. It's it's. Yes. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for getting this so quickly. I'm gonna tear it on the water poster on the way out. And I'll I like... just I just want to open this book to make sure you didn't open it. <laughs> uh, it, it, it no, it will it, it won't hurt anything, will it? Uh, uh... I'm joking. Let's go. God, this is so incredible. Yes. You're so mess. You're so mean <laughs> to the acolytes. What are you doing, Carolus? <laughs> and he's not even an acolyte. He's actually like. <laughs> Like one of the top binders for the run oh, this wow. place. So you guys have been shipped to someone who is actually a person here. We're the actually a person. <laughs> We're the cool kids in Castle Kid, no problem. All right, so you uh, the the other one. I mean, it looks pretty good at at a at a distance. It would it would obvi it would definitely fool somebody. Um, holding it in your hand, you can tell it doesn't quite have the weight. Um, and the, there's a little bit of like wet paint on the corner still where they, you know, touch the leather back up a little. Well, he's not seen it for decades. I mean, surely you wouldn't remember it. Yeah, so so for, for sure at a distance, it's going to work as a ruse. Uh, up close, it, you, you may have to you have to sell it a little bit. But um, but yeah, it, I think this has been a good, uh, an unexpected, but but good uh, turn for you there. Cool. We uh, get some yeah. coconut shells. I'll buy some extra large coconut shells as I'm riding an elephant. Uh, and we leave. Monty Python. <laughs> you give me, give me a minute. I'll just add those to your D and D Beyond character sheet. You'll just have them. Uh, Mine are so big. Uh, I can't even clap them together. <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys head. Uh, We're going head, to walk. You head out the uh, toward. You head toward the gatehouse, mm -hmm. and the uh, the 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 guards there are quite familiar with you and and your antics and. <laughs> They see that you're holding two two giant tomes in your hand, and they're just like, 
Uh... Don't say it. And I'll get out. Do we have the thing? The thing from You've seen nothing. Um, Tamaris. These are not the books you're looking for. Yeah, he, so he, he, see, he sees your tattoo, but you're also trying to take books. Uh, did you draw something on your hand there? I did, yeah. I tried that to do as best as I could. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Uh, he's, he's like, yeah, I know, but I, I mean, come on. You, you know you can't walk out of here with books. We've been over this. I mean, Compton the... said we could. She said he put it on a, on a, tat on a tattoo. Is, is, is this written down somewhere? It's for a mission. We is have written, permission. Is it written down somewhere? Yes. Gave us a writ. Write it on this, and I throw the sending stone up to him. <laughs> okay. Oh. And he catches oh. it. <laughs> and he catches it. He's like, and he sticks it in no, his pack. No, no, no. Yeah, don't you don't want to talk to her. You gotta press it. Like, <laughs> Jesus, I know how to, how to use a sending stone. Then use it. I, I know. <laughs> I, 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 I've, I've got to have something with the seal on it, guys. Oh. You know the drill. We the sure wax seal tattoos. thing. Who has the wax, the wax seal she gave? We have that somewhere. G give us a minute. And uh, we look around for whoever has it, and we'll oh. say it's for Edith. Because we're bumbling. Yeah. <laughs> the wax seal. I don't, I don't even so remember it, so I definitely don't have it. While you're looking at it, you get he, he for sure, like... <laughs> Sends a message. <laughs> um, you don't. You, you don't know what he says because you guys are, are looking through your stuff. Do you have the old and model? Does, does you have to lift it. I'll hold <laughs> the wax and he, seal. And he 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 takes the he takes the paper from you and looks at it and looks at the seal, and then he rolls it up and hands you the paper back and hands you the sending stone. Thank you. And uh, it says. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Just like every other time when it's not so hard to just show the piece of paper. You know yeah. us by now. Really? Yeah. You have to do this every time? If if we don't, then I lose my job. I mean, so? You don't, if, well, you, you're doing if you lose great. your job, you can, we can always employ you. Well, yeah. uh, we got the funds, we can deploy there's, you. There's plenty of work adventuring. You get dental, you get health. You do? Letting uh, letting letting people <laughs> out with books when you get fired, they, I mean, they don't say that 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 you die, but let's just say I've never met anyone who's unemployed from here. <clears throat> like I like point to my uh, symbol on my shield. <laughs> I love that you go ahead and die. We'll res you. It'll be fine. <laughs> yes, I've heard um, that. We've got diamonds cost. for that. You'll be fine. And he and he just just ask Bertie. Like, he dies all the time. Like everybody else Twice. in in <laughs> Canada Keep. Like everybody else, he just just smiles and shakes his head. And he's like, "Okay, go on." Uh, all right. <laughs> and they then the these two giant they're, they're they're probably you know thirty feet tall. These two giant black metal gates swing open, and uh, and allow you guys to to exit. Nights in a day. They well, miss us. They miss us when we're gone. It's good to be on the road again, not transporting just a simple tome. Oh man, I would. Uh, that's put... literally exactly what we're doing, Rita. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> At least this time we've got a wish in it for us, of course. What do you, What would you wish for? Uh, you know, say to uh, Caesar, what would you wish? For? Why would I ask? You'd wish for the world to be an ocean, no doubt. No, I'd wish for you to shut your mouth. <laughs> Very well. That's not a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a wish I can grant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we know. Oh, Reed, we, we, we know, know you'd wish for a fully functioning clunk. I don't need one. This one right here. <laughs> wow, that sounds aggressive. I was gonna. <laughs> yeah. All you want is a fully functioning clunk. <laughs> he'll, he'll point shut up. up. It's... It's cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? Yes, it is I still that kind of stream, folks. <laughs> Exclamation mark giveaway to win some cracking dice. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to make clunk an analogy for anything? <laughs> well, I'll <yeah>. uh, oh. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Judging, you, you talked to to Gazriazam a little bit, and 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 he kind of learning more where you are, and and kind of showing him a, a map of of this area of the Sword Coast. <clears throat> he thinks that you should uh, 
need to travel. Yeah. Should travel, you know, kind of to here and that there's a good ish way down. So that's about a day's travel to there. And then tomorrow morning kind of climb down and, and then continue down the coast um, to, to where he knows it, it, it you, the, the laboratory used to be. So we stand at the base of a spire and look where for a cave back toward the land, back toward the land. Okay. Yes. It's a coral spire. Right. So it's in the ocean. Yes. Stand at the that, base Cesar? and look toward the land and we should we see the to... mouth of the cave. We get to go on the waves, Caesar. You must be so excited. I be very excited. <laughs> Good. Right. Well, let's make tracks, I suppose. Try and keep up, Clunk. <laughs> boom, 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 <laughs> boom. You hear the tea set rattling inside of him. <laughs> Actually, the only thing inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so you guys, uh, you guys make your way. It's, it's you know maybe eleven in the morning ish now. You um you make your way down for a while. You candle keep recedes into the distance, and uh, you come upon a. Hold on, give me just one second. Talk amongst yourselves while I drag your tokens onto this map. Still curious to know what everybody is oh. going to wish for. Oh, what do we talk about? We could talk about our awesome sponsor, Kraken Dice. We just recently <laughs> I mean, signed up. With I'd you. wish for some Kraken Dice. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> wish granted. Yeah, we we are allowed to give away two sets of dice per stream. So if you like their stuff, which they are fantastic, exclamation mark some... Kraken Dice for their link. Go and buy some. They are awesome dice. Awesome people. Or if you would like to win some, we are currently doing a giveaway for exclamation mark giveaway. Like genuinely, this if you Radio haven't 104, and I am your host. looked at their website yet, the Kraken Dice website has some really, really cool stuff on there. Oh, My wife and I were stuff. just on there, yeah, just on there, uh, either earlier today or yesterday. Yeah, just like picking up, writing down wish lists. I've just obviously looking at a lot of their metal stuff. I mean, I love proper stone dice as well. I used to own a set, and yeah. when I sold all my books, I sold all my. And I was a complete regret. But I used to have a, a little set of uh, jade dice and. Uh, Aww. Um, jade. Hey, they, get they, it. They were, yeah. That's your name. Then, back in then, those days, they were tiny. The stone dice were tiny because obviously they were so expensive. Yeah. But yeah, they yeah. were beautiful. They were. Back in, so back in the day when you lot were all kids. <laughs> Someone in our cast, I believe, got glass dice as well. What? Which are really cool. Ooh. Oh, what? Yeah, I think maybe Sean. I think they were. I think Sean got oh, a, Sean a did, set of yeah. glass ones. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. They also might have just been really clear plastic. You yeah. never. Because well, you're the guy. DM this time doesn't mean you're getting anybody. Just bite it. A special treatment. But... Man. <laughs> Oh God! What just happened? Oh, uh, no. oh my gosh! Look at all your guys' HP. Oh, it's so Am I gonna tiny. die super quickly? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. You got fifty-three. That's why I just split. You've got Clunk. You're all right. That's true. Clunk and I are symbiotic, so <laughs> we're not really. Uh, I was gonna say, man, are you guys linked? Because that would be amazing. But no, we're not. That would be but cool. But you're not. But we're not. All right. Why so you. Uh, What's happening? Why would why, why, uh, why do we need? Oh no! Just, oh no! Just don't worry about that, baby. This, it's fine. This this is the only one that was on sale. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you guys you guys walking along, you you kind of come around the the edge of this this copse of trees here, and you see uh, just a traveler sitting sitting on the ground, with a little picnic basket, just having a little a little midday treat, um, uh, just having a snack. Obviously, as we're on a battle map, I hit him with a uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, uh, you, you, good day, you have sir. surprise so uh, I said, good day sir oh How hello are you? Ah, doing well just having a having a little that. nosh here you uh you uh, look loaded loaded for bear he kind of eyes clunk a little bit yes That's, we uh, have loads and loads of gold 
Do you wish to try and take it? I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't gonna, but if uh, careless if offer Let's... it, I'll I'll take a little bit. Yeah. Careless, not everyone on the road is a roving bandit. Give the man a chance. <sighs> Read us. We're on a battle map. Come on, look around you. <laughs> what are you t t t talking uh, about? A battle map? What's that? <laughs> he look around and it looks suspiciously like no, I that. look around thinking, are we about to be ambushed here? <laughs> do, you, do you see the lines on the ground? Uh, the five foot squares. squares. Well, I'll shout out to the guy and say, uh, my good man, we're transporting an arcane tome to... I hit, I hit I Reddit in the back of the head. I hit him right in the back of the head when he starts saying arcane tome. <laughs> Uh, how important the task was. So did you, did you go, oh, shut up? Did you <laughs> all forget how to? Head how, did you all forget how to just talk to people? <laughs> I've never yeah. learned. He's, he's still having some of his sandwich. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too early to be drinking, but y'all been it's drinking. Like, we yeah, have, drinking. and we've been we allowed. Definitely been drinking. We've You're been right. We are loaded. We are we're quite loaded. It's, it's what you said earlier. It's about noon. I think we've been to the tavern twice today. We had brunch. We did. Yeah, yeah, brunch. <laughs> yeah, that 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 makes sense. So, uh, coming from the from the big old library up there, candle keep, huh? That's yeah. the one. Yeah, that's it. We're well, I. We're an eight arcane tome. Again with the. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds uh, expensive. I mean, not Mine really. Is. The What's library is in it. it. It's going to grant us a wish. What? Oh my God, Regis! <laughs> I'm very much oh. looking forward to seeing what happens. Oh, he has oh, quite wish, you say. far in so his cups when, at the moment. At, at, when when he says wish, uh, all of you roll a perception. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! If he's gonna say initiative, <laughs> and use your cracking dice if you have them. Oh, yeah. oh yep. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Oh God, I. Uh, fifteen for me. Perception. Twenty-four. Yes. Twenty-five. Oh boy. <laughs> An eight. As he's it's thinking about his wish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wish for a, a new firearm for a... Bertram, what did you, what did you get? A 14, sorry. So... Uh, uh, 17. So I'm going to say that, that Mina and Cesar and Riala for sure hear a noise come from just over here as soon as... as oh, and, it, and, and it's going to grant us a wish, too. It's, <laughs> it, it's a... I'm kind so of a, a rustle of the of the leaves and almost like a. <gasps> Did anyone you, uh, uh, yeah, where, where, where where is it? I'm looking around uh, for this animal, I can hear. Yeah, just just about over here. Okay. You see my my pings ping yep. party. <laughs> ping party. Yeah. Oh. All of the, oh, just all the pings. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love how we have like multiple shades of pink. He is still talking. I know that's no surprise. What is like, this? Thousands of gold, perhaps? Maybe my own castle. Um, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna like what? eyeball at uh, Riala. Okay. What does this guy look like? Is he is he poor? Is he rough? Or does he, he look looks... well dressed? Uh, no, I would not say he's well dressed. He he looks like a traveler but if if you give him a little bit of an eye i mean his his clothes are a little shabby and they've been kind of like cleaned and 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 a little bit kind of made to look less shabby i mean i know that you have an intelligence of nine someone with a double eight. digit intelligence eight Thank i know you. that you have an eight uh, can you be alive with an eight <laughs> oh, yeah. um, uh, someone with a double digit intelligence might say that they look a little like a like a roguish bandit e type. I told you, I've got ten. I got ten as well. Definitely, I've right. got twenty, but I'm not looking at the bandit. <laughs> I'm looking at the sky, thinking about my wish. So. Uh, <laughs> um, where are you headed, traveler? Oh, uh, it's pretty much anywhere that uh, that, that that has a good picnic or it has people that. Say they have a lot of gold, or can I start people slowly that, making my people way that over. have people that have a book? Uh, while he's talking, you can move. Yeah, let's, okay. let's see you can move. Let's yeah. see you can move half your movement while he's talking. Right. Cool, or, cool. Or a, okay. a book that uh, that that you know somebody says may have a have a have a wish in it. I mean, that's uh, oh, we have one of those. Can, can he can he make an intelligence <laughs> save? 
Ooh, yeah. What are you gonna do? Sure. <laughs> Mind sliver. Uh, <laughs> my word. This poor man enjoying his picnic, attacked by candles. He's just, like, he's just clearly. <laughs> hey, you guys may have all turned against bandit. him. I'm still on this guy's side, okay? <laughs> so he rolls a. a I must do it. it. Must be doing it at advantage. For, he doesn't have advantage. He doesn't have advantage. Uh, that's just how it rolled. It. Uh, he, he gets a sixteen. Oh, he failed. <laughs> All right. We... How much damage does he take? Oh, for fuck's sake, a four. <laughs> <laughs> be on your way. Leave your lunch. I'm hungry. Okay, so Skimp. you you uh, you got an action. And now I'm going to get an action, and then we're going to do some initiative. Initiative. Um, uh. at, at, at your casting of Mind Sliver, you just hear just a little whisper of... And... Fire oh, erupts right. all around you, so Ooh. I need pretty much everyone in the party to make a deck save, please. Oh, oh. booty. All right. Don't all worry, right. guys. I'm great. And I'll take it. It's a spell effect. It is yep. a spell effect, and because he cast it, he's changing layers. Holy crap. That's I had so advantage, easy. and I rolled terrible. I rolled a 16 with advantage. I rolled a 13. I 18. Got a seven. Plus one on saves. Eight. Has that been added already? Let's have a look. 17. Yes, it has. Okay, so uh, his spell save DC is 14. So oh, no. if. <laughs> if I won. <laughs> if, if you beat the spell save. I did. Um, well, that guy cast Mind Sliver on is also in that, by the way. He's got a D4 minus. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah because of behind yeah. sliver <laughs> yeah i know uh all right so if you failed that is 35 points of fire damage if you made the save oh. that will be 17 points oh uh hold on i have to roll for the travel uh, as well 17, and so he's, he's he's I minus d4 eight. you said i take eight What's damage he's minus d4 yeah D dc was 14 harry Okay. Well, uh, he for sure has failed that. Um, <laughs> kill their own man. I already took. I take damage. seventeen because of my evasion. Uh, okay. I have to move this over to get his. Why can I not grab him? There he goes. Ouch. Is he dead? Uh, no, he's no, he's not dead. I like your uh, little fireball. Damn it. Was I even in it? You were. I had to move him over oh, so I could okay. get to that token. Yeah, uh, and we will roll for initiative, please. Oh. Make sure to uh, select select your token. Oh, is, yeah, it, that. is it easiest for us to roll these in, in yeah, D, &D Beyond? D &D Beyond yeah. Yeah. It probably is, yeah. Yes. Oh, son of a... Uh, my first one was a, was a nine. I hit uh, you, sh you, sh you should be able to change it if you okay. just mouse over your. We have some battle music. Uh, yep. I have dance. Here we go. I kind of want to dance with them at the moment. <laughs> really? That's my initiative? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. A seven. Well, well done. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I like being low on initiative because then I can kind of see what's happening and figure yeah. out what I want to do. Oh really? Oh, I I hate being. I hate being low on initiative. Okay, let's see if I can not bake the turn order like Ryan always does. Aw, <laughs> sad panda. <laughs> sad panda. All right, looks like first is Redus. Okay, Redus is looking off in the distance when he's thinking about his dream, and he's like the first, I guess, to see because he's not looking at the bandit. He sees the fireball, but he doesn't dodge it. He just sort of hesitates and it hits him head on. He starts smoldering and he tries to pat himself out. And then he'll throw his overcoat wide and he'll pull out his mechanical crossbow. Okay. Which, 
is a large sort of magazine loaded crossbow. It's got two bolts which he can fire one after the other and it's sort of in a half. He has to snap it together like a double barrel shot. <laughs> on He'll... separate on separate rolls? Or um, on the same roll? He can do it. He's got a, his level five um, feature is I can attack twice rather than once whenever I use so, it. So, right, so, so it's on two attack rolls though. Yeah, yeah. yeah on two you don't you don't get two bolts on one roll because no, that no, would be yeah. crazy cool. It's two uh, it's two attack rolls, yeah. So he okay. can fire and then fire again. So he'll snap it up, he'll shoulder it, and he'll just look at this bandit and he'll fire twice, um, which is a P20 plus six for me. Oh, plus uh, it's my proficiency and my intelligence. So five and proficiency four. So it's plus nine. Um, I got a twenty-five and that is absolutely a hit. Uh, and a seventeen. That's absolutely a hit. Okay. Four that's on. Five. That's on traveler. Uh, this guy, yeah, here. Yeah. I'll just get rid of him right quick. I think. Um, so I do 2d10 plus 12 damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. I uh, that's all of it added together, though. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. that's all that's it's like each bolt is 2d10 uh, plus 12, and this advent, this the encounter is over. <laughs> yeah. And I got a 6 and a 10. 16 plus 12 is 28 damage to that guy. Oh. Ho, ho. Well. As my bonus action, I look to clunk. And I'll say, Clunk, execute operations. Um, what will you say? E execute operation emergency casualty. And Clunk will immediately grab Redis's arm, and <laughs> like Clunk's gauntlet starts glowing green, and it starts pumping healing energy into Redis. As my Ooh, bonus nice. action, I use Arcane Jolt, which gives Clunk the ability to heal me for 2d6 hit points. Very nice. Yeah. So I, I roll two six. Yeah, I get a two and a five, seven hit points back. Awesome. Just, just ending my turn. So up next is Carolus. You can uh, you can see this uh, this guy over here. He is behind the partial cover with the the. He's the one that the, cast the it bush. Was. Yeah, he's he is. That's for sure where you you saw the the little dot of light come from. Okay, I am going to fire an Eldridge Blasts. Two of them. Okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, can I see any... I mean, with my passive, can I see any others? Um... Where... Let's see, where are you? Yeah, you know... Because of because now you're heightened and because they had originally heard something, we will say that um, this guy here you can see um, he's the one that that when he heard the wish kind of like stumbled a little and and made some noise. So so for sure you can see two targets at the moment. Okay. Um... I will look at this guy here, mm -hmm. Red, and I will fire two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Rather, rather than at the mage? Uh, no, actually, no, you're right. I'll take the mage. I'll hit the mage. Try and hit the mage. Uh, these are a plus 11 to hit. So that's a 27 and a 19. <laughs> Okay, yes, I will allow those to hit. Oh, okay, you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> and I believe they are. He, he has not had a chance to cast his mage armor yet. Let's just say that. <laughs> should have thought about that while his mate was eating sandwiches. And I rolled a double fours. So that is 18... No. Yeah, eight, and... Come on, 18 damage. Yes, okay. I do math. Math rocks. And he gets pushed back 20 feet. Uh, okay. Can I can I take him down more than, than kind of straight back? Because I um, only have 10 feet of straight back. If there's anything behind him, like a tree or anything. Uh, like, they're just kind of like... They're, they're just like scrubby bushes. It's They're not like oh, okay. big trees. So, 
So he, he'll take kind of two, like 10 feet straight back and then 10 feet straight south because that's how the map is made. Yeah, okay. I didn't think about push stuff. Uh, but yeah, you rocked him for sure. Um, and then anything else? That, yes, I will. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I will stand over there. Okay. Riala. Uh, you know what? You know what? From where you are, I'm also going to say, I didn't realize you had moved that far down. We're going to say that you can also see this guy sitting here. And he he looks kind of, he, he's poised and ready, but like he doesn't fully know what's going on. Like he sees his friend's dead body. He heard a fireball. He heard the mage go, and get pushed. And so, can I, so can I he's ready, eyes, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I yeah, thought you were I done. I yes. completely forgot. Um, and Carolus will suddenly, his legs will turn to air, as you've seen him before, and he will move up into the air. So, yeah. Okay, how far? Um, he'll move up 30 feet, so I'll probably still be here, and I will just tell it will just move up 30 feet. Okay. And, and then look around. Okay. I um Ooh, that's so that's interesting. So he looks gonna, like a we're genie. Gonna, we're going to we're going to put that on you since you're flying. Mm -hmm. And if you're 30 feet up, we're going to say that because it's just scrubs and stuff, you can see one more guy. So, and I call out yeah. and I point another one over there. Awesome. So now now Riala, you can see blue and probably the edge of green because when he saw Carulus see him, Carolus see him, he, he's trying to like get into the bush a little more. So he's made himself visible to you as well. Okay. Oh, sorry, an extra four damage on that, buddy. Sorry. On the mage? Yeah, that's fire damage, extra four. Okay. Must remember these new things. Uh, Riala. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, this is just flavor, but I'm gonna pull out from my, like, hip there a little, like, sensor, like a priest sensor, mm -hmm. and, like, spin it. And you, you, they have, like, the holy water in them. And as I spin it, there will be just, like, sparks that come out and Ooh. fly toward Redis, Bertram, Carulus, and Nina. And those are going to fly toward them and sort of land on them in like a little sparkly pattern. And I'm going to cast Bless at second level on those four. Nice. So the four of you have Bless, which is an extra D4 on your turn D4. for uh, attacks and saving Six. throws. Six. Yeah. Nice. Thank so, you. So, and Bless is 10 rounds. Is that right? Yes, I believe so. Right. Uh, so this is yeah, Bless. Yeah, one minute. This is bless one. You guys keep track of if you have blessed though, if you would. Yes. Right, yeah. Uh, for a moment, when you pulled the sensor out, I thought you were going to be really cold and um, and say, "Oh, I'm just prepping for your funerals." No, no yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use. Um, I have 30 feet of movement. I'm going to get the right little thing and move back that away, away from. All the baddies. Okay. Is that the it? end of your turn, Bertram? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna walk slowly forward, pulling and my if you, sword. If you guys could update your hit points in the roll twenty as well, it, I, it doesn't link to D and D Beyond for me. I don't think, or yeah, I don't you have know to go how down to do that. And pick. I don't know if you think you have to pick your name down the bottom, but mine's not showing up there. Does it? Uh. Well, there are no characters built in Roll20, no actual character sheets, yeah. so I think that's what it pulls from. Yeah, I'm, I think there's I'm a way to in D&D &D Beyond. Yeah. So you want me to look at another website is what you want me to do? Yeah, I'm just going to be difficult. Yeah. Son of a bitch. There Looking is a time. way to do yeah. it. I don't know. It we'll play with it later. I don't know how to link it. I just did mine manually. So yeah, I'm gonna calmly walk forward, drawing my 
my wooden sword as I go. I'm going to loudly proclaim, like, I am willing to grant you mercy, but I cannot promise the same for my friends. I, uh, I suspect you all reconsider your actions here this day. And as I say that, I'm just going to hit the crap out of this guy in front of me. <laughs> totally going to let you go. And now I'm attacking you. Uh, it's non-lethal damage. If Reconsider! That, if that makes a difference. <laughs> I, I if mean, you think if, this ooh. is bad, wait for everyone else. <laughs> uh, natural 19. Uh, yeah. So it's a total of like a 30 with the bless. Whoa. That guy uh, Yeah. yeah they started yeah, yeah, They fired a fireball. I just wanted some lunch. Yeah, that, that for sure... Uh, if they sure started it. Up. Um... That's six damage plus something. Six damage for now, and then when I figure out what else I can do later, I'll correct myself. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, this the in case viewers, this is the old six damage plus something gambit that Nathan <laughs> is running on me here. So yeah. Uh oh, I have to spend a key point to do extra damage. That's fine. Let's not do that. Um, I will take my unarmed strike for my bonus action, though, okay. and just, like, backhand this guy with my gauntlet. Um, do I get blessed on this, too? Does it apply for every attack? I yeah. believe so, yeah, for the okay. whole minute. Uh, that's a 13 for a total of 23 with the bless. That'll do it which gives me another eight non-lethal damage. Hey. Kill him, Bertram. Punch no. him in the throat. No, that's fine. I have I have two attacks with my main attack, so <laughs> I'm I'm going to go ahead and take the another uh sword swing then. Okay. Uh natural 14 for uh 23. That'll do it. Eight eight more go to sleep damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And that's it for me. Uh, all right. He, uh, he is coincidentally next in the order and was considering listening to what you were saying. And then you smacked him about the head for 22 points of damage. Yeah, that so, was, that was encouragement. <laughs> for him and his friends. <laughs> he is going to make uh, an attack on you, Bertram. 13. That is a miss. He will make his second melee attack. 14. That's also a miss. I have a, I have Agile Parry, which ups my AC by two if I make an unarmed strike as part okay. of my turn. He will now make his third attack with his dagger. 19. 19 will hit. Uh, all right, then he will do. I think the unarmed strike's got to be on one of your main attacks and not a bonus action. Though. He will hit you for five points of piercings. Okay. Uh, and is is ashamed of himself that he did not hit with those first two scimitar swings. Um, let's <laughs> see. He, yeah, side, he, he's man. he's feeling kind of bad about himself. Like he he let you slap him around, and he missed you. Uh, so, hey man, the bandit game ain't easy. You'll get it. <laughs> you know? I mean, prob probably not. But but I feel bad for him now. <laughs> but you might. Yeah. Uh, this mage is going to misty step to here. And then he is going to continue off the map and run his happy ass away. Hmm. Uh, Not in satisfaction. Good. Uh, and now Cesar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the guy I spotted the first time. Mm -hmm. So Red. I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. 25 30 um the entire time just like walking and it's like just had to start talking about that damn wish and like take out my trident 
<laughs> and then point it over to where he is, and then I'm gonna call lightning. Uh, okay. Is, is that is that like the spell lightning? Uh, oh, no, that's call the lightning. call lightning. The spell yeah. call lightning. He's got to make a DC 16 uh, dexterity saving throw. Uh, I'm sorry. This is red or this is blue? Uh, red. The guy up here in the corner. Yeah, dex dex save incoming. Yep. 17. Uh, he makes it, so he's gonna take half damage. Okay. Uh, 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 he's gonna so, uh half of uh. 10, 12, 6 damage. He's gonna take six, six damage. Six damage. Yeah. Uh, this cracking dice cut deep. Uh, um. The fury of the ocean. <laughs> six. <laughs> um. And uh, on each of my turn. Uh, yeah. So um, as long as he stays there for the next action, I can just call it down on him. Um, again. Okay. Gotcha. So it's like it's like witch bolt. And yes. it makes like a storm cloud kind of. Yeah. Thing. It's like. Shh, 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 shh. Uh, he is thoroughly occupied looking at the giant cloud above him now. Uh, is that the end of your turn, sir? Uh, <laughs> uh, can I uh, do a spiritual weapon after I cast a spell? No. Okay. I then don't, I, no, I don't think. You can move it as a bonus action, but I think you have, okay, to cast cast it, you have to cast gotcha. it as a spell. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. Okay. And that's it. That's all I got. All right. So next up is uh, Green, who is going to. <laughs> oh, hi, Green. He's... Hi. <laughs> uh, Z, he... don't ruin my description of like Mario Brothers, where there's tiny little clouds above the head. Apparently, it's a sixty-foot cr- circle foot radius oh, yeah. storm. Yeah, it's oh, huge. Oh, holy yeah. crap! Call Weasels. lightning is massive. Yeah. Sixty-foot radius. Yes. So call lightning if... is a great <laughs> spell. If it's centered on him, then Bertram is in that as well. So does everyone well, no, you, take damage no, on? No, no. You, you pick you, a you they, pick any target oh, in that but radius. But he has he has to move out of that sixty foot radius to get out of it. Oh yeah. Oh shit. So, uh, it, it, so it functions kind of like Witch Bolt in that you basically just get to keep hammering them because it's huge. Yeah. Wow. Oh, they, that and is, it, and it, oh, it, it damages you know. everything within five feet of the target square, and so if your enemies are grouped together, you can bolt the whole batch of them. That is amazing. That is a great yeah. spell. It is a great right. spell. Depending so on how green. savvy they are, they can also shoot the caster because it is concentration. Green, <laughs> Bertram, has heard your words and will throw his uh, scimitar to the ground here and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and will beat feet, uh, and he's at the edge of the map. He, he is in full retreat mode, but he has heard your words. Uh, and Mina. All right, so I'm gonna. I just I, the whole time I'm just watching her like measure and uh-huh. measure and look at the angles to people, and uh-huh. it's like she's about huh? to kill the crap huh? out of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I was okay. So, like, my short bow it says eighty feet to like three hundred some whatever, and that's you have to be at eighty feet to actually use it. Yes, is that what I'm understanding? If it's well, so over it's, eighty, it's disadvantage. Yeah. So inside of oh. eighty feet, you roll normal. Between eighty and three hundred or three twenty, you roll mm. at disadvantage. Beyond the three hundred, you cannot hit. Got it. Okay. Cool. So I'm I'm. Well, what I plan to do was um, move to um, move to the dude here in blue and uh, attack with my Yikula. Yikula. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yamaka. Yama. My Yama. My Yama. Yama. My Yama. 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 Yeah. How do, do I uh, do that from here or? We, like, we can just we can just we can just, yeah, add it. Just, add it on just just add it on. Just when you tell okay. me, just add it on. So you rolled a twenty-one, so it'll be twenty-three, which will yeah. hit him. As a point of order, DM buddy, um, how do you handle flanking? Do you do anything for flanking? 
I like what Ryan was doing, but I don't remember exactly what that was. Is that a plus one to hit if you're flanking? I plus think one. So. Yeah. Okay. Just because she... Nina and Bertram, so I. It's the yeah, she uh, she didn't need it, but she got a twenty four then instead of the twenty three. Uh, but she for sure just put seven points on that guy. Yeah, and plus um, two. Yeah, plus, two. plus two, plus plus two. Um, oh yes, minus two. Um, all right. So, did I just use both of my actions by moving and then? No, movement is your attacking? movement. Okay. And so, if, if you have another attack, then yeah, I, uh, I, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. attack I'm gonna, it up, um, girl. Short bow, the other guy. So to do that, you'll have to drop your you y- 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 to pull your to pull your bow because you're trying to. Okay. So you can't like stow it nicely and then pull your bow out. That that's a lot going on. Okay. So you would just have to drop your your yikwa on the ground. Okay. Well, how about um, I just Eldritch Blash him then? <laughs> I don't have to that drop works. anything if I do that, right? <laughs> that would be because because Eldritch Blast Eldritch yeah. Blast is a bonus. Action. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. 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 No, that, 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 no, 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 no. That's 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 okay. You it just no, you couldn't cast an action. actual. So oh, if it's a, if it's an actual okay. spell, you cannot attack and cast a spell unless you're Got a it. sorcerer with certain things. I think. Okay, so I'll just I'll drop my uh, <laughs> my. Oh my god! Now you have me saying. Uh, oh, oh, and, and, and <laughs> so the other thing too, if you drop and pull your bow to shoot, you'll be at disadvantage because you have an enemy within five feet of you. Well, crap! You're just taking all <laughs> you the can fun just away. Swing your thing just at the just same swing guy. your thing at him again. Just <sighs> yuck oh, him. At, this and cat over. This You're cat blessed. over here is is caught in the uh, in the storm, so. So okay. he's <laughs> well, yeah, everyone's saying, just hit him in the face. That's what everyone's saying. Just hit him in the face. So uh, and now roll so so slash R space one d four. Wait, what? You're uh, you're, you're blessed. You're yeah. blessed. So you can remember? roll a d four and That's, add it. To it's that. plus four. Or, or you it's or you can to hit the, already. Ah. So that's 15 to hit. I don't know, it's more yeah. than that. Uh, so okay, fif- so fi- 15 is 19 to class. hit. That's 19. So. It's not. She rolled a four first. Why is it first. 19? Because you've got plus oh, two weapon you got plus the... your flanking. Right, I, I didn't see the four first. So I only saw the one. Yeah, so if it's, I'm across 18. If, it's 19, if it's 18 or 19, then that for sure hits him. It's going well, y'all. Professional. We're professionals here. We're no, we're <laughs> that, professional. We haven't had to what's, add up any of our <laughs> own numbers for so long. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no one remembers how their mean. character sheets work. You know, well, to be things. fair, this is the first time we're playing these characters, so yeah. that's also true. absolutely. But, I, but I will say that be, being off for two weeks, it is a little bit like oh, like wearing oven mitts. <laughs> uh, so that's actually ten if we add your your weapon upgraded damage, correct? Yes, correct. Mm. Yeah, he is not not liking that. I would say for sure he is what you might call bloodied. Uh, was, was that was that everything? For, do you have any other uh, any other thing you want to do? Yeah, I say don't fucking stab my friend, <laughs> sir. <laughs> That's just not nice. His blood pours down his face. He goes, "Yes, ma'am." Bitch. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am, bitch. <laughs> he, so he, polite, but he, not. He, he, he at this point is is he is all in. He is not going to be running away like his friends. Oh, um, quotable quotes right there. <laughs> uh, all right, so it is red. So tell me what happens with red. Do I take damage at the top of my turn, or do I just uh, have to get out you're of? You're free to do whatever you want with red. You can yeah. use it to get out of that if you wish. This doesn't take any damage now. Only on my turn. The lightning bolt comes on in Rodney's turn. Oh, on on Cesar's turn. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a lot like witch bolt, as you say. Because th- yeah, I'm, don't you have to use your action to to send yeah. another bolt down? Also. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So he can do whatever he likes. Right. So he's gonna come to here, and he is going to make. Uh, Two ranged attacks on Mina. That's not nice. I know, right? Uh, 
So a 17 to hit. Does that hit your AC? I did not write it down. Sorry. Uh, yes, I have. I was muted. Yes, you hit me. Uh, all right. So then that first one will be, I don't know why I can't roll the, maybe I can roll the damage. Okay. So four piercings. God, he rolled a one on that. So four piercing. And then uh, he will attack you again for a crit. Is that a crit? That is a crit because it's, oh, no, it's not. Oh, no. It's yeah. it's not. Oh, he rolled a 15. Shoot. Yeah. So he, a dirty 20. <laughs> so you, thank you for keeping me honest. I saw the 20 and I got <laughs> starstruck there. So six more piercings. So a total of 10 piercings this round to you. No, me gusta. <laughs> um, and he will end his turn. Redis. Okay. Redis is going to throw his shaggy black hair to one side. He'll point to Clunk and he'll point to the blue bandit and he'll say, Clunk, execute command, execute. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Clunk's going to start thumping it because um, that literally ends Redis' turn because he can use a turn to command Clunk um, to do something. And Clunk will go five, his movement speed is 40. Contrary to what we've said so far, he actually moves faster than most humans. Um, <laughs> so he well, I mean, he's in execute mode, execute yeah, now, sure. and that's, oh, that's the that's, shit, the that's shit is on. Terrible yeah. good point. So what happens is, like, normal mild-mannered clunk, who's just been a standard silent spectre so far, steam starts to emanate from his armor, and where his eyes should be, there are just two red orbs just appear, and Paul, he starts just going... <laughs> and I've got an important question. When he does start steaming, does that mean the kettle's boiling? It does. <laughs> Indeed, it does. It's a bad Man, pattern. This when is going to be the best thing. You have a fight, you finish, you have some tea. This is going to be the best, the yeah. best thing. This is it. It's a but part kettle, part war machine. So, yeah, got <laughs> everything. Right. Uh, so, you point at, clunk, uh, point at the bandit, and Clunk starts stomping into the ground, actually picks up speed starts moving faster than even a human and grabs the guy. Well, I'm going to make sure he hits first before I talk about killing this guy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he will. Don't let Bertram uh, see. We've got a... I don't care a, if you guys kill him. <laughs> no. You guys uh, haven't taken my oath. <laughs> your spell attack modifier to hit, I'm not so. against the idea of killing. I'm just against <laughs> me killing somebody. Okay. I, I was just a, trying to keep you pure. 21. No, it is okay. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 21 to hit. 21 to hit, absolutely. Okay. And he does, I think he does 1d8 plus, plus proficiency bonus. So that's going to be a... 1d8 plus 4. Um, 8 damage. I roll a 4. Does it kill him? It does not. Uh, ah! he, I, I, will, I will say he is definitely, like, beyond bloodied, though. Uh, he... Okay. He does well, not have a whole lot left in him. In that case, Clunk's gonna just run up and wind up a haymaker. Like, he's literally, his upper torso moves <laughs> on an axis. So he'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> and then just and like, a bale of hay <laughs> pops out of his butt. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so, so he, so his Clunk guy. has two attacks as well? No, just the one thing. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, okay. Uh, anything, anything else, okay? So, yeah. Carolus. Uh, 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 Carolus will see Crunk in action happily. He'll fire. He'll oh, fire an Eldritch nice. Blast at blue. Okay, Let's Eldritch see. Blast at blue. And see how that first one gets on first. An 18, that's 29. That, good God, that'll hit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I rolled a one on a dice though. Hang on, that is six. That's ten damage. Four of its fire. Is he dead? Okay, he's not. He is. Oh, I tried to hit him with he, the other one. That's he, a I mean, he's not pretty, dead yet. Pretty, pretty, pretty peaked. Nineteen to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, this one's. Oh my god, it's, it's only seven damage, and he gets pushed twenty feet back. Uh, okay. It doesn't provoke that it's forced. 10, 15, 20. You see his dead body 
fly back 20 feet. I mean, he's <laughs> dead before he's moving. Uh, but just you've ragged all his ass uh, 20 feet behind. It's which is it's kind of unnecessary, but you know what you gonna do. I want to say that I've seen what ZC said in chat and I appreciate it and I wish I'd noticed it. Yeah, so that that's Z. He is our Z, rules sorry. expert. Uh, anytime there's a rules problem, just say Z. What about this, that, the other? And, and <laughs> how does this actually work? Yeah, yeah. And and Z yeah. Z totally helps us out. He's our human encyclopedia. So much more damage <laughs> than I've been doing because of my arcane job that I've been neglecting. But thank you. Cool. That's, you know, if you had done that, we wouldn't have get, gotten to see Carolus ragdoll that dead body. So that's true. That's true. So I'm glad I didn't do it then. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So you've, uh, uh, you've attacked. I, you've moved. I Are moved. You a bonus? Yeah. He's well. I'm still flying. So um, I'm obviously in the sort of like just under the clouds, and I shout to Red, "Drop your weapons, or you'll feel the thunder and lightning." But obviously, I can't roll anything for now. I mean, it's not my thunder and lightning, but you will yeah. feel it for sure. Yes. <laughs> we have a book as well that's got a bomb in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I, I thought you said all that in character then, like, feel the thunder and lightning. Obviously not now, but... In the <laughs> <laughs> but in, like, like 24 yeah. short <laughs> seconds, you will feel it. Uh, all right, is that your turn, sir? Yes, yeah, I've moved 30 feet. All right, Riala. Okay, let me see here. I got to make sure I move to the right place. Okay. There we go. That'll there put me go. in range to red. Um, I am going to um, toll the dead. So that's going to be a wisdom Yeah, you save. are. Uh, oh, he actually is a plus two in wisdom. DC 16. 17. Yeah. Uh, is that, I... uh, is that at, at your level with a cleric, is that, is that save or suck or does he get? Yeah, it's a cantrip, so it's. it's well, with either... wizards after a certain level, they, uh, after like evil wizards after level six, I think. Well, I'm it's not, not save or suck wizard, anymore. Buddy. Yeah, wizards suck, buddy. Yeah, yeah it's stupid wizards. <laughs> Nobody Honestly. likes those nerdy book readers, okay? Exactly. That's right. I was uh, what I was gonna say is that when you were looking where you were going, I almost put my finger on my screen to mark your spot. And <laughs> Tell I was me like, where to go. Like she won't see that. I'll use the pinger instead. But yeah, I almost reached out and touched my own monitor to <laughs> tell you where to go. So I am a stupid yeah. wizard. <laughs> I love this part. He's growing animosity towards wizards. <laughs> we in, live, in, live and work in Candlekeep and just cannot stand those stupid <laughs> nerds. Honestly, it, it will serve you well when you meet Zikrin. So yeah. oh, and our quest isn't I... to get away; it's just to go and beat up this stupid wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was alive so we could do it again. <laughs> oh, you want him alive? <laughs> uh, Riala, anything else? Yes, as a bonus action, I am going to cast Healing Word at second level on Redis. Hmm. Um, I'll do that in roll 20 just to keep things simple. Very nice. There you go. Oh, 16. double fours. Holy and hell. you're a life cleric, so you should get some of that. I do yourself. get hit points back from that. I love life clerics, dude. Heal for sure. you, a little bit for me. Heal for you, a little bit for me. Yeah, let me make sure I get it right. Blessed healer. HP equal to two plus the spells level, so four for me. Uh, anything else for you? That's it. That was movement action bonus action. I'm good. Bertram, the the blue bandit in front of you just got dead body blown away, yep. ragdolled out. Um, uh, and Carolus did tell this red one what's up. So let's run over there. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> just gonna just kind of put him at sword point and say, "You heard my friend." Don't make another move. Lay down your weapons, and I'll at least try to make sure that you live. Is this wooden sword point? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah, but he sharpened it with a pencil sharpener before. <laughs> I mean, he oh, saw me like it's, beat the crap out sharp. of his friend. <laughs> Um, uh, I will hold my attack action to see if he surrenders. Okay, and if he if he moves away, you'll if he moves or attacks, I'll attack him. Okay. Um, Cesar. Yeah. It's you. Oh, oh, oh! No. Lightning time. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna stop to call lightning because now Bertram's standing next to him. But um, yeah. I, you can still hit him. Oh, can I? Okay. <laughs> it's a ten foot. No. It's no. Yeah. Feet. No. I'll hit you. Foot, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you can target a space on the ground. Down. You don't have to target uh, a person. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. So like behind him. Yeah. 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 So I'll put it. <laughs> I'll put it over there. I'll put it like right. Uh, five, ten. So like, was it here? I think it's okay. five, everything are in five foot range, isn't it? Like, so it would be like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was 10. Okay. So, um, it might be, who knows? 10, uh, 10 foot cube, Z oh, says. Right. Okay. So, yeah. I believe you, Z, but I'm going to look it up anyway. <laughs> uh, I believe you that you can put it without hitting Bertram. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, do I roll a save against that or? Y yes. What's the save? 16. Is it a deck save? Deck save, yes. Uh, that's, uh, I saved on it, 16. All right, uh, so that's a uh, half 13, damage. half to six. I, I almost made his hit points a six. I'm glad I didn't do that. <laughs> um, uh, okay, what else you got? I'm gonna come up. Uh, here next to Mina and like drop my shield down. Or like put my shield up. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> like, not, like actually. Yeah, like it's it's out now. Is my is what I'm saying. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna yell over my shoulder like, "Yo, Caesar, give him a minute!" Like. <laughs> 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 I count fast. <laughs> now, now's your chance, man. I. Like... <laughs> <laughs> just drop. Right. Just drop it. Any uh, anything else uh, for you, sir? Nope, that's it. All right, so it's Green's turn, uh, and Carolus, you can see that Green is on the edge, and you see him kind of reach out and grab a hold of what you now see is Orange, and they are gonna get the hell out of Dodge. Probably smart. Probably smart. Um, Red is not in a lunch. Red is not in a good way on the battlefield though, since he's the only enemy left. Uh, Mina, it is you. Well, mm, I'm. I love how that library frames you. Like it, you look like <laughs> you're just like because they're all arched around you, and you're just like, hmm. You look like you're about to shush me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Rita yeah. gets shushed a lot. In <laughs> Absolutely. Um, all right, so I'm going to kind of make my way over, kind of uh, flank him. Wait, flank this way? Flank here. So, so you'd, have, you'd have to get to here to flank, yeah. That's flanking. That's right. That's, yeah. And I'm just going to stand there and look intimidating. Ooh, roll an intimidation. Can I give help? help? Can I assist? Sure, do take it with advantage because he's been storm clouded and <laughs> got the the hork monk pally. Like, um, how do I how do I do the shift? With shift. Advantage? Uh, hold shift, and you should the 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 die should turn to green and have a little plus symbol in it. Got it. Nice oh. roll. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Does he? Yeah. So that was a twenty-two and a twenty-five. In case you guys can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's definitely he does not pee himself, but there definitely is a little bit of brown pants situation going on. I have on. my sass face on. Sass face. Uh, <laughs> is, is that is that the end of your of your turn? Yes. Uh, he will absolutely 
just let let go of his sword and and put his hands out. Can I good kick the sword away? Yeah, I'll allow you to use use your held action for that. Yeah. Um. So the situation is in hand, but I'm still gonna let the turn order restart with Redis and see what he does with Stompy Killing Machine. Okay. I feel like <laughs> oh this, my is, God. this is this isn't a feature, but Redis will I think I've gonna make it a kind of feature for him. He's gonna have to travel 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and he'll say, Clunk, disengage, execute command. And uh, Redis will like sort of simmer down. <laughs> like, lots of, lots if, of Redis, if Redis isn't there to like turn him off, he <laughs> yeah. just just goes on a killing rampage. It's a rampage. Much. Yeah, I need to I need to turn him off as well. So uh, it's Clunk will just sort of like he'll have had his shoulders a bit more wide and stuff, but then he'll just sort of power down slowly, and you see all the steam um, dissipate, and the eyes just go back to their empty like helmet sockets. Okay. And um, that one is said, I've got no intention of killing this guy. All right. I'm uh, I'm actually going to let you guys move into just free RP here. I'm going to, if you guys want to kill him, you certainly may, but you do not have to kill him. The battle music has stopped, so. That's the sign. That's the sign. <laughs> I'm still Can I floating say? around like the genie of, like, Aladdin. <laughs> I, I admire this bandit because on all the places on all the sword coasts that they could choose to set up an ambush, they chose just outside the most accomplished center of all wizards in the sword coast. We've got to admire the moxie they have, at least. I mean, you, you, you miss, you miss a hundred, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. <laughs> so, so we're joking, right? We are going to kill him. Well, no, nah, we ain't got it. Hey, uh, you, you're a bandit man. What'd you hear? Uh, I I heard lightning and I heard him say don't just to throw my sword down and I heard her just uh, like yell at me. Um that's before what that, I heard. Before that. Um I heard uh, I I don't I don't I don't know. What did I hear? You didn't hear nothing. You heard about the wish. No, I mean, you didn't hear you didn't hear nothing. I mean not Don't make me cast silence on you. Not, not again, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate that spell so much. Uh, the, pain, the pain. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm real. I'm real stupid. I didn't, I didn't hear nothing. Inside but, check. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, <laughs> all right. Go ahead and we can inside check. He might not have because he was over there, wasn't he? No, no. He did shift when we said. Yeah, something. he was yeah. someone up in the bush. Okay. I rolled an eight. Uh, I mean, he might be that dumb. I have rolled a seventeen twice on this crack and die. No lie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then, then, so... uh, then, yeah. Riella, you know that uh, he he heard it, but he is like, no, no, I totally didn't hear it. He thought that he's lying. He's trying to convince himself that he didn't hear it. And he at knows the same time, he's he shouldn't be repeating what he heard. Yeah, he's but. he's kind of trying to look around and he for sure sees um or you know he he knows that that this guy got blown up. He saw this guy get ragdolled and he is trying to find what must be the dead bodies of all of his other friends <laughs> because certainly they would not just run off and abandon him. So he's looking for their dead corpses and not finding them. Do any of us Aw, God, you make me feel bad for these guys. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> do, 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 do we, does, uh, do I, do, well, if, if I'm yelling at him, do I know that his other dudes ran off? Uh, well, I, tell you I mean, there were no more spells that were shot, but uh, for for sure you know that, that green that was over here ran off, and with no more spells going off, you you must assume that either the mage ran or that yeah. that um, Carolus must Carolus have lit him up. Carolus is probably like Castor. He's up in the air, Castor. <laughs> trying to. Carolus, no! I know. <laughs> he's, he's, he's he just, he pressed, pre just pressed the digitation. The sparks are flying everywhere. Then I want to get in his face and be like, "Yeah, you heard nothing. Now, like, you go find your friends and you tell them they heard nothing either." Okay, is it okay if I don't find them and just go somewhere else? As long as Nadia come back here looking for us. Let's say we can either uh, leave you tied up here and your friends can come back and 
they'll do with you as they wish. Or you can make your way north to Candlekeep and present yourself as an acolyte and serve for a number of years <laughs> as long as the masters determine until you're ready, until you've worked off your debt to society. Roll a persuasion with advantage since C Cesar is <laughs> threatening to kill him in no uncertain terms. Ooh, can I'm going to use my uh, channel divinity. Um, where to go? I can channel divinity to give myself uh, as an emissary of peace and give myself plus five on persuasion checks. Just for the Holy fun of it. Crap. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to use my reaction to give him arcane inspiration and give him another plus five because I want to. How, use how do you how do you inspire him? <laughs> I want to see how, how high this. Does he mention the how, book how, again? <laughs> how, how, how how do you inspire him? What do you what do you say or, or do to give him the inspiration? Harry. Oh, sorry. Just, I thought you were talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. him to the man. Okay. Um, no, no, no. What? No. What do you? What yeah, would sure. give him the arcane inspiration? It's a good one, that because um, how does the artificer do this exactly? Okay, it's right. So talking about the book. Um, again. Bertram's talking to him. Uh, Reader will just say he'll just. I guess he'll just shout. Appeal to his sense of decency, Bertram. I'm sure he has one <laughs> somewhere. Right. He, 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 uh, uh huh. Uh huh. I rolled double fives, but I ha I have a plus ten, so it's a fifteen. Are you blessed? Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I am still blessed. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. My, pers uh, wait. My persuasion oh, is a two. Blessed doesn't work on ability checks. Okay. So a... All right. Uh, so it's a plus 12 total. 17. Uh, so how, how long would I have to work there? Uh, uh, you know, it, 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 that, that does, I don't think that matters. Um, that's up to the lore. Fire of Eldritch Blast at a distance. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, th I think maybe maybe North, maybe I should get out of this line of work and do something different. Ask to see Master Satan. What the heck is her name? Master oh, Sage Thomas. Satan. Thomas. That sounds good. Satan. <laughs> Master <laughs> Sage Thomas. <laughs> Ask to see Master Sage Thomas. Thomas. Okay. Tell her we sent you. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, okay. It, it, he he doesn't move. He is still under your control. But but he has he has acquiesced and I'll just give him a, I'll just give him a little a little pat with the with the sword just whack him on the butt with the uh, sword I come I come flying down and I'll be like <laughs> like like, like a June, I say you've got one wish <laughs> I wish I wasn't here good well, fuck off you off. go then make it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he will he will run and now I have to make a. Bandit candle keep character <laughs> acolyte. Yep. Because we will definitely be terrorizing um, that guy the next time yeah. we're back at candle keep. Hey, can we? We've got the sending stone, right? Should we yeah. give? Should we give Thomas a heads up? Oh, this guy's no, what's the rage in? on it? Uh, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bertram, did you do that for his good or just to annoy Thomas? No, both. Okay, very well done. Yeah, that's it. That checks out. Uh, all right. So I will, uh, I will say that you guys handily handled that first adventure or that that first encounter. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go and loot all the magic items they had. Oh man, and it's such a good haul. <laughs> uh, let me pull this open. Uh, all right, so there were the just the two dead guys. So they they both have. Uh, just some kind of bent and rusty scimitars. There's two of those. There's say, four bent Reus and rusty daggers. It's not I losing mean, them out of his respect for Bertram because he knows that's quite macabre and he doesn't oh. want to kill in Bertram's presence. Okay. I, Does anyone else you guys, want to you guys, would, you guys would know. Uh, let, me, let me just explain Bertram real quick. Okay. Uh, Bertram is not against the idea of killing. Bertram has... He has lost control in the past. And so as a promise to himself, he has always promised that he will always remain in control and mm. not go over the edge. And so he has intentionally put this limit on himself. Uh, it has nothing really to do with like who deserves life and who deserves death. If you guys decide to kill him, I don't really care. It's okay. just... Hmm. 
in that case, yeah, I'll just go take some knives and stuff, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so when I say, yeah, I'm so they, everything. They are uh, the, <laughs> say, the it's not gonna bother me at all. Okay. Two scimitars and four daggers, uh, uh, very low quality, uh, not not well cared for. Maybe ah. you can use them for just the metal since you're an artificer. Low quality for now, he says, eyeing the daggers. Ooh, fancy. Mm -hmm. um, and then between the two of them, you also find one gold, 22 silver, 66 Yes, copper. we're rich. It's All mine. Right. Are, we, <laughs> are, are, we putting, are we keeping track of our party loot or how do we want to do stuff? You can. I actually, if you look in the journal, I've stolen an idea from DM Peter, and there is a handout called Party Loot Log. Party Loot Treasure Log, <laughs> which you should all be able to edit, so you guys can keep a running tally of of party party loot. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do we just need just a bag the, of holding, or can I just, just put everything inside? Like, just for this uh, for the stream. I, right? It says Redis stole all of our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. So I, uh, anything else? I do have a bag of holding if if no one else does. Does anyone else have a bag of holding? No. I you got one. my so items you... long things yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. I know. I do have one. Sorry. Of course you do. Uh, okay, any any other <laughs> defilement to these bodies? Um, there is a half-eaten sandwich, um, Careless, if you want to finish well, this half-eaten sandwich. I kind of guessed it with it being um, a fireball. It's a toasted sandwich now. So well, it is. The cheese is nice and melted. Ham and cheese, it's, yes. uh, I will finish that off gladly. What kind of oh. sandwich was it? Ham and cheese? Yeah, it was ham and cheese. Now it's now toasted it's ham and cheese. Ham and cheese? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, it's actually, the first you know, for toasted ham and cheese know. sandwich that's ever existed yeah. in the Sword Coast. Oh, yeah. oh gosh! He just no. invented toasted ham uh, and right. cheese. You know how often <laughs> fireball goes off here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Any any other untoward things you wish to do with these bandit bodies? Well, I like the load question, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to do something quite obscene with them. I'm going to give them a proper burial by hmm. smashing them with clunk. No. Oh. <laughs> just, oh. You're just into the ground. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wow. Clunk's just going to press them into the soil. <laughs> this, this game just took a, <laughs> took a strange left turn, everyone. All right, so it, burying, mashing, mincing, uh, whichever no, no. you do. Uh, I'm going to have Clunk dig a grave. That's well, uh, yeah, and I imagine he's pretty efficient at that. Uh, so we'll say that you guys continue on and and find a, a nice, uh, certainly there's a path kind of down, but uh, it is end of the day a little bit, and it's a, a, a pretty defensible position. And we'll say that uh, you guys have can, can make a, a camp for the night. Um, any nightly camp business? And uh, I think that we'll be ending after that. We'll pick up with the watches next week. We'll gather all around and maybe just consult with the genie one last time okay um and ask him from what he knows of i'll ask him character i suppose makes more sense um Gazu, from what you know of Zenikar, what oh. can we do to prepare oh. ourselves to sorry is it zikran sorry what do you know of zikran what can we do to prepare ourselves for our battle with him I would say that you would certainly want as many of your resources available, spells, spell slots, scrolls, attacks, health points. When he, he subdued is, uh, you, was there any spells he was fond of using? Fire, ice? Uh, to subdue me, he was he was using some sort of planar magic and and some sort of transmutation that I'm completely unfamiliar with to to bind me into this book so he uh he, he normally didn't attack his lab if that's what you're asking so on the attack front I'm not super sure what I could tell you but I would say you want to be at full resources if you if you can he's that much of a threat you think well he's trapped me in a book for decades so right does he have One... any enemies oh, i'm i'm sure uh I, I i know not who they would be he has an enemy of me for trapping me in here but 
a, a man, a wizard, that that evil and bent on 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 conquest must have made a long list of enemies. Mm. Would he scry on us? Do you think? I mean, is he aware of us coming for him? I don't suppose. It's uh, been a I, long time. I can't imagine it, it. It has been. If I will say that I will be very flattered if he's still scrying on on little old me after all this time. Right. Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll leave the book open. Would you prefer us to leave the book open overnight, or would you like it close? I do you sleep. I'm sorry. I'm not familiar. Uh, with you. I, I I would love to see the stars. It's been it's been some time. Well, right over. Uh, perhaps. Oh, you just muted yourself. I'll say um, perhaps you, Riala, with your connection to the heavens, find a nice place for him to look at the stars. I suppose. Yes, I will find a place. We'll pick you up in the morning, Gasri. And hope I, no one's this stolen the book. <laughs> we we okay. can camp. I'll leave. I'm gonna leave. We'll find the with, place. Yeah, execution command guard book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not you're not gonna set the book and then walk away and leave it. No, okay, with, no. With, yeah, within sight of this, you know, not yeah. like on a hill somewhere. Just a nice view. But but, but you're you're putting you're putting uh, execute slash hack dot protect. Uh, I'm guessing we're having watches. Yeah, and watch yeah. Course, we are yeah. seasoned, okay. serious professionals. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. All right. So then we will we will set the uh, the the watches next week, and we'll pick back up with how the night goes, yeah. and sure. we'll head down the mountain to the coast uh, next week. Yeah. Should we do a giveaway? Cool.